Well, welcome to everybody. Welcome to our live. Um, so today we're going to be talking about um, the equinox manifestation, yes. uh, holistic health, healing, yes. and so many other things. And we're going to be also answering any questions that you have. Um, I love I love having my chats with Brian. We're always FaceTiming off TikTok and we're always sharing amazing things. And we wish that we can bring all the amazing things we talk about in this live today on TikTok. So go ahead and ask me questions that you have. I'm so here for the, uh, you got the you got like the professional voice <laughs> on. You got the glasses on. You wasn't playing no games today. Yo, when I tell you my retail experience, I had to talk on the phone. I had to sound a specific way. <laughs> I understand. So for all y'all that don't know uh, who she is and what she does, I'm going to just put it out there right now. This girl can read you up and down like nobody's business. I ha I did one reading with her not too long, about what, a month ago, I want to say. I did a reading with her and... Keep in mind, we haven't met in person. We only know we, we only know of each other via social media, FaceTime, stuff like that. She's like hundreds of miles away from where I'm at. But like when I tell y'all she read like about my anatomy, my personality, medical history and stuff like that, you'll be surprised what like you can find out via astrology and things of that nature. So just I want you just for a quick seven quick second before we start diving into all the other stuff, tell them exactly what that practice is for you. And how do you do that and, and engage with the uh, the audience and stuff like that as far as what do you do in that area and how they can get a service from you? Yeah, of course. So basically what I do, um, I'm super into holistic health and medical astrology, and it's also called astro herbology. So basically what I do, I focus on the medical side of astrology. I will read your chart and I will see uh, the disharmonious aspects and the harsher aspects of Saturn, of Mars. So Saturn is a and the wounded teacher. I check the south node, which is the bear of key, and I and kind of figure out um, what kind of herb you need right, to function properly, uh, what crystals are going to help you balance your electromagnetic field and whatnot, So, uh, and what plants and fruits are best for you and your signs, basically. That's what I do. And she does it well. She does, like, let me tell y'all something. The stuff that I've already been doing for myself, I started implementing everything that she's been talking about, like the conversations we've been having, and even, like, from diet changes, to like herbal changes and stuff like that. And it makes like, oh yeah, you can sign up in uh in her bio. Go to her page, click the link in her bio and you'll see all of that. But um, the stuff that she's done for me, y'all, like it, it makes no, just the conversations, it makes no sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> I love, I love, I, I want to get read again. I, I definitely want to get read again. Like it's just, just sure, to go man. through the process again. You say what? For sure. I said, for sure, we can check your chart again and see uh, the planetary transits. And what house they're in and how it could affect you potentially and stuff like that. I'm definitely I'm definitely here for it. Oh, and by the way, just letting you know, I don't uh I know it's your first time on this one, what this form of it. The questions that are the comments that you're gonna see, that's from your people only. We're not I thought at first we were sharing the comment section, but TikTok doesn't do that. It's like I have my section, you have yours. So when we get to like what? the QA section and stuff like that, we'll be able to like, you know, we're gonna just I guess moderate to have the best we can. What is that? I I thought we were able to like see everything together. Cause right now I have like I have zero people talking. I only have like six viewers. <laughs> nah, they they chattering on my end. They they asking about somebody just asking about like the link and stuff like that. Oh man, that sucks. Well, how can we like combine it? The only way I think you might be able to see it is if like we did it how we kind of did it the last time. Well, what did you do that the last time? Like whenever uh. I think he was in like the smaller square, but like, but then you're at you're in the smaller square, so it's like it kind of looks weird, and like I don't know if it works, it functions the same. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. That's so funny because I thought <laughs> that's so funny. It's so funny how it works. Okay, I get it now. I get it. It's crazy. So let's dive all the way in, y'all. March. Yeah. 20th. March twentieth is the spring equinox, and for all y'all that don't know what we're talking about, there's four. 
we have just like there's four seasons, like there's four equinoxes. Every equinox coincides with each season. Reasons why we say the new year is really in March instead of January 1st. Like for all the new people that's up in here, I'm trying to tell y'all, they like to yes. celebrate New Year's January 1st and blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's the New Year's and the snow and Christmas. and No, it doesn't. Let's just take a step back. Okay, common sense wise. Why would you want to celebrate new life? And like, think about what the new year really means. New opportunities, new blessings, things that have been sold. You finally get to reap them. The harvest season, you know, it's like we get to actually farm life and birth life and stuff like that. But we're going to say New Year's is January 1st whenever people are, it's cold, nothing's growing, nothing's being harvested. A lot of people are dying. You know, mm -hmm. depression is running rampant. It's like, it's just a cold, like a very dormant season. But like when it comes down to like the spring, yeah. everything about spring represents life. Everything about spring pushes us forward you know so why is it that we choose to celebrate well me personally i don't i don't celebrate the new year's like if they give me like a gig like oh we want you to play over here blah 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 and, and it's enough i'll go play but they be like happy new year's i'm like oh happy january 1st happy january 1st because like <laughs> no nah, it's not that's i just don't believe in it and this year the equinox lands on march 20th so i'm trying to let y'all understand that the planets are and everything else is trying to she said, please keep like oh, yeah. the plants and everything they're trying to tell us uh exactly how life's supposed to be lived but, you know, Western society, it, it's, everything is just backwards for whatever reason, you know. But a lot of things that the people are here's, here's what, one of the biggest things I kind of been leading up to this live. You don't. OK, spirit on the spiritual side of things, when we're transitioning from season to season, as in the heavens, so as below. So there's a season yeah. for everything. There's a season to add, subtract, multiply, divide. There's a season to sow. There's a season to reap and things of that nature. Not to say that spiritually we can't get those things throughout the year because God does what he wants to do. But at the same time, at the exact same time, whenever we go into the actual equinoxes that pushes us spiritually into another area, all the things that I've been talking about the past few months, all the seeds you sow, all the meditation, and the, like, the reason why I keep trying to tell people, why, why do you guys think I've been pushing detox, detox, detox for the past yeah. two months? Because we're about especially to go into the equinox. In the you say what? I said, especially during the winter. It's the, yes. it's the time that your body needs to rest. You can't be eating like you eat in summer. Yes. And, and, I, and I'm trying to, bro, I keep trying to explain that to people. And it's like, do y'all really understand what happens when we go into the next equinox? It's like, if you're not spiritually prepared, or just for the people that haven't, like, been sowing the seeds or spiritually preparing for it, you're missing out on so much. Like, in churches yeah. out here, they like to call it, like, the first fruit harvest and all this other type of stuff, when it's a lot deeper than that. it's Well, I'm not saying it's a lot deeper. It's a lot It's a lot more spiritual than that. Like, for all, it and y'all, it's not too late. We have, like, what? It's March 20th, so that's 20 days plus. What's today? Today's day is the what? Let me see. Today's the 18th. So you have like 30 plus days to at least bunker down before the spring equinox. I would implore y'all, go detox your body. You detox your body, yeah. start meditating. I don't know if y'all was on my last live, but I showed y'all how to, how to meditate. I showed y'all how to focus on aura. I showed y'all how to focus on colors, what these colors specifically mean to you guys. I showed you guys all of this, that, and the third. And we're going to, you know what? We might as well just redo it again. So... For this live in particular, just to kind of start it off, I want you guys to really, if you don't have a piece of paper, go get it real quick. We're just going to give y'all, uh, we're going to give y'all five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you got your paper. <laughs> so, <laughs> so here's what I need you guys to start doing. Whether it's, and preferably, preferably, either the first when you rise, before you even get out of bed, or right before you go to sleep. Now, I don't know, you know, not everybody, you know, is religious, spiritual, praying, and this, that, and the third, but you at least, you at least need to start setting spiritual cleansing preferences for yourself for me i wake up with gratitude i don't care what i don't care if if i woke up with negative 300 dollars in my account always wake up when you're meditating especially before a spring equinox what i like i normally like to like god thank you for waking me up this morning thank you for the food that i have to eat the clothes that i have to wear the bed i get to sleep in the house that i get to stay in start off with gratitude thank you for my mom dad you know start, start off with gratitude and then you start sowing those spiritual seeds as well like hey like you start meditating and start envisioning Everything that you want to happen and everything that you want to harvest in. Like for me, I want the brand to get bigger. I want to heal more people. I want to be yeah. able to touch more lives and things of that nature. I want to set my family up to where I like, I want to have my own garden. I want to have a, like a bigger yard for my garden and my house and all my animals and stuff like that. So I'm envisioning that. I'm envisioning exactly. my physique. I know what I want to look like by April. You know, so I'm envisioning exactly. all of those things. You know, especially and then, like, like when you say like all these affirmations in the morning in the first hour of your day, it's going to mentally prepare you for the rest of your day. And personally, exactly. like I always as soon as I rise, I say uh, specifically this. I say uh, I am guided by the one most high. I am guided by Definitely. love truth, and wisdom. Every cell in my body is healthy and thriving. 
uh, my healing process is smooth. So is my ascension on my way on my path back to God. And then yes. um, I, I I say like some Sanskrit chants for Saturn and for Venus for for the discipline and for the love and for uh, the, the the sunshine and everything to start off my day. Right. And if you've been and here's the crazy part. I'm gonna add on to that. For all the people that caught the live a few weeks ago, and for the people that just been practicing everything I've been telling you guys for months ahead of time, I have a few people that's actually been, and it's even been happening to me. Like sometimes, if you're really just spiritually loaded and you've already been sowing that many seeds, even though the equinox doesn't really start until the twentieth, I've already been reaping a whole bunch of things. Like, like mm -hmm. whenever whenever we say sowing, right? A lot of people associate that with money and things like that, and which is a way you can do it. Because like I know for me personally. I always take at least 10% of no matter what I make. I take 10% and whatever God tells me to do with it, I do with it. Like, prime example, I've been doing certain things for my family. You know, I've been helping them out. And they didn't even tell me things were going on, you know. But, like, certain members of my family, is like, they had things they were trying to get through. And I helped with that. Unbeknownst to me, I helped it out. And then I got that back. And then, on, and, and then multiplication, I got that back. There was this homeless guy. And I don't really keep cash on me like that because it's just the times that we're living in. And, like, this homeless guy I kept seeing time and time again as I would leave from like the market and stuff like that. And granted, granted, I didn't want to do this because like if he's homeless, he probably doesn't have, you know, like things to cook with. But I was like, well, I don't have any cash on me, but I want to give him something. You know, it's cold. He and his sign, his sign doesn't say will such and such for money. He's like, I don't care what it is. Like I'll do such and such for food. So obviously he's yeah. hungry. So, you yeah. know, there was a Burger King across the street, even though I didn't want to give him any fast food. And there was a Burger King across the street. I want to get him like six double cheeseburgers and like three large fries just to give him something, you know, yeah. and that, that came back to me and not even two days later. You know, I have a friend that yeah. I've been trying to prep her with the spring equinox. I was like, yo, we about to go into the equinox. You know, if you're getting whatever spiritual guidance you're getting or inklings you're getting, follow it. Like this, I forgot what place she went to and she had a difference in her tab or whatever. And they don't tip, they don't tip people over there. Call came on. Oh, she was yeah. like, um, they don't, she's like, do you guys see? Yeah, I had, I had a call. I, I just, I declined it. And uh, <laughs> there was like, um, do you, uh, she was like, do you have, do you take, uh, you guys can do tips over here, this, that, and the third? And she would, now keep in mind, she's not in the best financial place right now, you know, but she's just following her spirit. And they were like, no, we don't. She's like, well, you know, you just take the difference. I ain't gonna say what the amount was. She said, just take the difference or whatever. Literally, the, like she called, she did this yesterday. She called me this morning. She was like, yo, she was like, I woke up this morning and something told me to just get up, you know, and go get this and blah, 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 blah. She's like, like she's had, she's eaten over three meals, had a chance to go to work and this, that, and the third. And she didn't spend a dollar. She said people have been paying for her food. People just been randomly giving her money, this, that, and the third. But she followed her spirit. And I keep trying to tell yeah. it to people, whether it's detoxing, whether it's sowing seeds, whether it's just being there. Because, like, another problem, I, I know I'm rambling. I'm, I'm going to give you the, the mic next. But it's just so many things that's been happening. You know, like, the signs that the equinox is about to happen. And, like, I have friends. You know, they've been going through mental stuff. And I, I'm not going to go too far into it. But one of my friends, I, I almost literally lost him. You know, a yeah. lot has been going on. He lost... um. He lost um his what you call it? he lost his brother and he lost somebody else and he you know he 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 was I'm I'm trying not to say this I don't want to get shadow banned but like he self harm happened I'll say that self harm yeah. happened yeah you know and luckily you know thank God because his time isn't up he's still here you know and like something was like cause me and him talk almost every day but like someone was like no you need to really hit him up like I got very specific instructions like hit him up at least two to three times a day Facetime him blah yeah. blah blah blah. And literally, like, like a week has pretty much passed, and the time it would normally take for somebody to shake back from something like that, his mental clarity has been back. You know, he's his personality is back. His life turning around because, like, I mean, you know me. We've been we've been friends long enough. You know, I'm yeah. unfiltered. So I'm going I'm a, like whether it be good or bad, how you want to take it, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I feel as though you need to hear, or exactly <laughs> what's being downloaded in me. And you know, and that's what I've been doing. It's been harsh because I had to kind of. I didn't really want to be that blunt with him after that but i was like yo don't do nothing like that again and i sure. kind of told him about himself and stuff like that yeah. and like his perspective on life life has changed spiritually he's better you know he's preparing for the spring spring equinox too he's doing his detoxes That's you know amazing. he's making his music and like i keep trying to tell people we can we can give y'all the water but y'all have to drink it like exactly. whenever that spring equinox is going hit and you haven't if you haven't been following your spirit even if you start to date like, if you haven't been following your spirit or, like, you really ain't been cleansing out yourself, you're missing out on so much. Oh, my God. Y'all going y'all missing out on so much that can happen, man. That's fact. But I'm, a, I, I'm rambling, so you can, you can keep going. No, no, I'm no. Rambling. It's okay, bro. You're, you're spitting facts. That's not ramble. <laughs> but uh, I 100% agree with everything you've been saying, you know. And, 
and uh, for me as well, this the the start of the year starts uh, in the spring equinox because when you think about it, um, winter winter in Spanish means uh, invierno. And invierno and infierno. Infierno is hell. Invierno is winter. It's very similar. Bye bye. Um, and you're we're transitioning right now. Um, so basically, Capricorn is. Um, a cardinal sign it's a sign that opens the door so through capricorn is like the end of hell and we're going back to uh heaven if you want but it's not literally it's allegorical right. and then uh the spring equinox yeah make sure you make it sim here. simplify for the people in here because they're not you know they don't this is all new to them yeah yeah for sure um and so basically the spring equinox starts in the first zodiac sign which is aries it's where um, it's where things start and Aries is, is a cardinal sign too. It means it's a sign that opens the door. So we're opening the door to the new year where the sun is born again. And that's why they say um, Jesus Jesus is the son of God. Jesus is born again. It, it, he's reincarnated. So the sun is rising again. Um, and basically it's the perfect time to start planting your seeds. Uh, it's the perfect time to start your new year resolution because when you do your new year resolution in Capricorn during winter, during invierno, during the infierno, uh, when the so the sun is at its lowest point, it's not gonna. That's why a lot of people they give up on their new year goal by January thirtieth. But when right? you start your new year resolution and in the spring when the sun is rising, when the sun is still is still a kid, when you're you're feeling yeah. that childlike energy and that that yeah. vibrance that resonance is when you start um your new year resolution it's that motivation it's that sun rising you don't want to do your resolution when the sun is falling you want right. to do it when the sun is rising so you rise with the sun that's right. why it's so important to 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 know astrology and to follow the true astrology and not just like oh like you're aries so you're crazy no that's that's the right. new age Thank spirituality you. astrology. You gotta follow it's a lot, the it's a lot, I'm it's, to tell people, it's a lot deeper than that. It's like you know, social media is only going to give you so much because they know people are yeah. not going to do their research, they're not going to look into it, they're not going to do the due diligence. But people like us that actually make this our profession, you know, it, it's like mm -hmm. if y'all was to only know how deep this stuff can really go, you know, it's like yeah. everything is literally designed to help us and to guide us through life. But people are just like scrolling on Instagram, on TikTok, doing blah, 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 blah. And it's like, y'all should be detoxing and getting ready for March. Like, it's about to get yeah. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, and you know what's example, funny? That stuff you were talking about today on your storyline with the, uh, the the snipers and stuff like that. Like, that's a clear indication of the times that we in right now, you know? Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. I don't want to get too much into it right now because, um, yeah. It, yeah. you know, our yeah. bank I understand. Is frozen like i'm just gonna say that i'm just gonna throw this right here but i'll i'll, I'll circle back later uh, i'll talk about it more but um uh i don't know if you noticed and it's that's no coincidence um but when you see if if the year actually started in january and there is mm -hmm. september october november december so that means seven eight nine ten and it doesn't make sense Yo, I if, never thought about it like that. Okay. It doesn't okay. make sense if it starts in January, but then people would be like, oh, it's because of uh, um, uh, Julius Caesar. He just added two months. He didn't add two months. There was always 12 months, but they start in March. That's why it makes right. sense that September right. is the seventh, is the Libra, the seventh sign of the Zodiac. See, that's right. why astrology is important because there always has been 12 signs. There always has been 12 months. They're always it's always 12 12 is is uh 12 disciples 12 zodiacal signs we were just talking about that the other day. Of, the, of the cranial uh 12 cranial nerves it's always the same thing it's time bro it's it's time like i keep trying to tell people like one of y'all and, and i used to i used to i hate saying when i say i hate but it's like i feel like people have have been saying oh well y'all woke and this and that for so long to where it's diluted the actual yeah. like the tangibility of the word so it's like yeah. they like to say oh y'all woke and y'all did that and the third is like no we're just well versed because it's like the more you take the time to really like and, and it's not even like oh go read a book it's just pay attention pay attention yeah. to the commonalities pay attention to what's going on you know and then it's like when you actually see you break out of it for a second it's like whoa like prime example the super bowl 
the Super Bowl. Now, granted, I'm not I'm not a person that's gonna sit there and like oh football Sundays and blah 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 blah. I don't. I, that's not me. I I I was an athlete. I mean, I'm not I'm not still athlete. I still don't compete, but I'll go play soccer and stuff like that. But like all throughout my childhood up until college, I was an athlete. You know, so it's like even then I wasn't into it like that. But just looking at they have this big racial case that's going on in the NFL. Ironically, yeah. the people that's within the case performing at the Super Bowl. That deodorized the intensity of the of the subject. Like, really look at what they're, they're trying to nullify all of the important things that's going on right now. Mm-hmm. And people are just sitting there going about, oh, man, the halftime show and this, that, and the third. And, oh, Eminem took a knee. And, uh, and let me address that real quick. <laughs> I'm not, man, look, I'll, I'll say this. The reason why that wasn't important to me from as a black person, the reason why that was not important to me was because it did not happen during the national anthem. And then on top of that, what did that actually solve? Yeah. If y'all really want to solve the problem, how about we take our black behinds up out of the league and start our own league? How about we stop giving them our money? How about we stop giving them our views? I'm all for protesting and I'm all for standing up for what's right mm-hmm. and doing this and doing this, that, and the third. But if you really want to go after these monopolizing capitalist people, you hit them in their pockets. That's how you really Yeah, don't it. perform. Don't exactly. perform. Exactly. Prime example. You remember what that was? When did this happen? This happened, I want to say, in about September of last year, recent, like, last year. Everybody was yeah. like, oh, well, we're going to protest and blah, 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 blah. Let's not go to Chick-fil-A. Let's not do this, that, and the third, and blah, 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 blah. I remember looking at Amber, I was like, let's see how long this lasts. You know, and, yeah. like, not even a month, everybody was back to, um, no, 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 that was before that. I'm sorry, that was before that. That was whenever, um, that was for Trump's, like, election time or something like that. That was before that, actually. And, like, um, I was like, oh, let's see how long this lasts. People was right back at Ross's. People was right back at Chick-fil-A. I was like, people can't come together for anything anymore. And we on here, like, we on social media, like, oh, well, let's do the, like, another thing. The blackouts. Like, I'm th- like when they did the blackout stuff on social media, I was like, okay, I understand it, and I'm here for it. But awareness and practicality are two different things. Mm-hmm. You know, like, how yeah. about we make our own apps? How about we just, like, when you when you are the thing that, that, that reinforces or governs or gives money to something, right? You're the power, but we rely mm-hmm. on everything else for you. Vote with order. your money, right? You know, so pull back. Re- reasons why, reasons why, when I get my private land and all of that, reasons why I want my garden, I want my own livestock because I'm I'm trying to pull further and further away from relying on whatever needs my money. Same you here, know, bro. like it's just it's it's crazy. I can I can talk about that for days. It's it's just so annoying. <laughs> reasons why we're trying to tell y'all. Detox before this equinox. Start start getting more like the books, like the books that we've been promoting. Like we're like, oh, nothing is. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, the books that we've been promoting <laughs> and stuff like that. Like really start getting into it because at the end of the day, bro, all you have is what you have. And if you're not and if you're not taking the time to at least enrich what you have and take control of your own life, they're gonna run it. They're gonna tell you what to eat. They're gonna tell you what's right. They're gonna tell you this, that, and the third, and it makes no sense. Like prime example. And you know what's crazy? Oh, no, is that, yeah, about my bad. I'm rambling. <laughs> no, no, it's, no, I just had that thought. I had to share. Um, when I make my videos, sometimes you know, uh, I had a recent video that I made, um, and it was about like all oh, food that caused inflammation uh, that you should avoid. And I was like, like meat, eggs, dairy, mm-hmm. oats, uh, um, wheat products, and stuff like that. And a lot of people mm-hmm. would be commenting like, "Oh, so what do we eat? Air?" And that just shows how like ignorant people are like that's the food that they're promoting you there's so much more than what they're not showing to you you know it's like uh, people are like oh but what am i supposed to how am i supposed to eat bread have kamut bread have spelt bread there's not only wheat flour there's amaranth flour there's spelt Mm -hmm. flour there's so many alternatives that are actually healthy for you and help you grow and anti parasites um you just have to do research you know and the sad part is they can tell you what's the new Fenty line, what's the new clothing line, what's the new yeah. makeup and blah, blah. And they can go into detail about it, but they can't tell you yeah. anything about what they're eating. Exactly. They don't know what how it, it, it makes their body function. They don't know what uh, causes inflammation. And then when we make videos like that, they're like, oh, uh, well, it's about balance. Yes, it is about balance that you do not have because you're only eating acidic um foods you're not eating right. anything alkaline if you look at a um a perfect balanced american breakfast what is it it's 
eggs, it's bacon, it's sausage, it's bread, it's butter, it's milk, it's coffee, and crap. like a couple a strawberries. And they're like, I'm balanced. Um, no, you're not. <laughs> Honestly. And, it, and it's crazy because when you really think about like our ancestry and you think about, and, and, and and just honestly, most ancestry, not just specific ones, most ancestry, when you go back into it before fast food, like you and I even had to talk about that, how like and where you're at, there's barely any fast food areas. But out here yes. is like every street corner, it's something, you know, yes. and, it's, and it's like when you go back to uh, in early ancestry is like they the reason why it like we had to talk the other day too. the reason why. Egg, like they was like, oh, well, eggs are good for you. This and the third, yeah, they were growing like that. That was came from their chickens, you know. Yes, that was came from their exactly. soil, their land. It didn't have all of this, all these 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 hormones and stuff inside of there. All these antidepressants and extra stuff inside of there. Exactly. It, it wasn't in this mass production because it was like this. What, I saw a documentary. It was like a um, it was showing it was showing like the milk, like the milk company. What 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 brand it was? It's like this blue casing of milk. And they saying like it's like the the friendliest milk or something like that, but they don't like somebody did like a top secret like an incognito type of thing, and they were yeah. abusing the mess out of these animals, and like they did like a chem like a chemical study on it. The amount of adrenaline and cortisol that was inside of that milk was made to keep no them alive sense yes. at all. People forget like these things are living, you know. So when yes. you kill it in the state that it's in, it that's what's being transferred. You know, exactly. it's cra it's crazy, man. It's exactly. crazy. Exactly. Yeah. You gotta keep in mind, like, uh, for example, um, in my country, uh, we have like our own little farms or chickens or cows and stuff like that, and it's not pasteurized. You know, it's natural. It's it's straight from the source, literally. Um, you're not. You don't have to um air a p e the cow to get the milk. You know what I mean? Right. You don't have to right. take her 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 son or her daughter and and in front of her and shock her you know what i mean right. um so people realize all that the animals go through the stress they go through the antibiotics they have the antidepressant they have you're literally milking that while they're barely standing on their legs and you're drinking that pus you're drinking them stra the, the stress you're drinking all the 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 crap that they put into the cow you're drinking that you know i'm not against milk i'm not against um yeah. animal products you know but i'm against the animal cruelty that you're also gonna consume after and then people wonder why they have adhd why they have anxiety exactly. why their hormones exactly. are imbalanced because you're exactly. eating stress and you eat what you are uh, i mean you are what you eat and then you wonder why like you have all these problems with with no with no root or no the doctors tell you oh you have nothing you just have oh here's an antidepressant and they don't know what they talking about to begin with what <laughs> it's cra it's crazy like what, what that was the other day I was looking at I'm trying to remember I was just thinking about it it was like I just just because I'm trying to remember I can't even, I can't even think about it but essentially it's like it's like we put when you think about mass production of anything when was it ever a good idea. Why yeah. did we stray so far away from being so self-sufficient? You know, it's yeah. like prime example, like what things that you and I are trying to do is like it's demonized out here pretty much because it's and reasons why they're also buying up so much land because the more because they like to say, oh, well, we have a um we have a land shortage and blah, 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 blah. And when mm -hmm. you look at the actual like the geometrical well, the, the geographical um structures of society, right? We don't live in sparse areas no more. We live in clusters and condensed yeah. clusters. So yes. it's not like it's not like hundreds of miles of people stacked on. It is like hundreds of miles of land, a city, hundreds of miles of land, a city. So whenever you start like actually living how we're supposed to live and even going back to some form of bar, like that's one thing I wish they would bring back, like some form of bartering. If we bring that back, and I'm not saying eradicate the currency and stuff like that, because I mean, it does have its benefits, you know, for international yeah. trade with the technology that we have. I'm not going to sit here and talk like, the advancements and the technology that humans have made thus far is all evil and blah, 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 blah. Because without it, we need to be doing what we're doing now. So I'm not yeah. trying to demonize everything. But what I am saying is, is like, can we at least grab or enrich and bring back some of the old ways that help? Because it like, I'm somebody that's like, I don't like, I tell this to everybody. That's pretty much my brand slogan at this point. Like, let me be your first step. I'm not yeah. saying go completely plant-based or you got to give up all of me. Because I know these days, People can't do that. Like veganism it, is a trend. It's a part like yeah. like if you really wanna wanna heal yourself plant based, you gotta go plant based. 
because veganism yeah. now is just is just another form of process and if anything more process to make you feel more comfortable because oh you left the meat life exactly. and blah 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 like oh you gotta God. go back Say again? exactly because i feel like i remember uh when i first tried to um because now now i'm like mostly vegan mostly uh, alkaline plant based but i remember mm -hmm. when i first transitioned to to veganism holy moly cannoli bro <laughs> i can't curse um but i was buying like the fake meat the fake fish uh the the, the nasty the nasty alternative to meat you know and then mm -hmm. I, i realized i was i was my health was bad you know i mean i like i, I started to like break out everywhere and i started to have eczema mm -hmm. and i was so imbalanced because i was not focusing on the fruits and the vegetables and the and the water and the juicing and the herbs i was focused on what they were throwing my face for veganism you know like all oh, like all the, the fake meat and stuff but that's not what you need you you need to eat electrical foods you need to eat right. high uh frequency foods to have, right. have your energy because we are electric beings we are electromagnetic so that's what we need to eat to to be charged you know what i mean but they're guiding us towards that that like oh veganism trying to also deteriorate our health just like they're deteriorating other people's health you know it's like so even if you try right. to be woke they still they still get you <laughs> that's what like moonbeam just said always read the ingredients and i definitely agree with that because that that couples with what you're saying how the front And what they're saying is entertainment, but the back is education. Like, and I'm gonna just be, mm -hmm. and this going, this might, this might blow some people's minds. If you was even just imagine, everybody in society for the next 10 years, just imagine this: we go back to bartering, we have our own farmlands, we have our, and you can eat however you want to eat, but you have to grow it or you have to raise it. Imagine how healthy everybody would be. Just imagine yeah. most of the diseases and stuff that's going. Because, like, I keep trying to tell people. The only reason why cancer is so prevalent right now is because everything is processed. Exactly. It's not a balance. Like there's like I try to tell people. Now, granted, it's a very extreme way of doing it, but Dr. Robert Morris, one of the guys I studied under, he put his patient on a 56 day grape uh seeded uh seeded grape juice fast. Right, 56 days. He he cured his lymphoma. He cured his cancer. He cured his diabetes, and he cured his ocular his ocular deficiency. Now, granted, 56 days on just seeded grape juices, that's, I'm not going to lie, that's, the average person cannot do that. That's really extreme. Yeah. <laughs> But let's be real about it. If you if you can just get a, a nice electrical flush like that and you technically get the template all over again, you're good. Because, like, everybody thinks, oh, what well, the older I get, the worse I'm supposed to feel, I'm supposed to accept, blah, blah, blah. No. You actually, bro, I have prime example. I talked to you all about, I talked to you and Chelsea and everybody about this lady I'm about to talk about. I have a client name. I'm gonna call her Miss W. I don't want to say put her, her full name out there. I have a client called Miss W. She just turned 60. That lady is in is just as in shape as I am, and I'm yeah. in shape. I'm in some yeah. good shape. And like I just finished working out with it, and like it doesn't matter. Rain, sleet, snow, cold, hot. Like she will be out there bundled up if she has to. We're gonna work out. She's gonna be asking me like we just started. Her, uh, she's doing like a 40 day. No, she's doing like a uh, a six weeks detox. She want to do. I just I just finished her protocol. And like, bro, she she is like on it, like on it, on it. And like a lot, I don't want to put all her business out there, but she got some stuff going on with her body, and like it's already like turning around. And it's nothing major, but it's just like cosmetic things, you know. It's like mm -hmm. her, she just, I mean, we we've been having this relationship for not not even a year yet. Like I've been knowing of her, but we never formed our own personal relationship, not even a whole year yet. But like yeah. just within like the half a year I've been dealing with her, her bro, her posture, she went from being like. Like she's in shape yet, but she went from being like this. Now she's like this, you know, because granted, everybody's posture is bad with the cell phones and stuff like because everybody naturally slouches now. But we got her posture together. Her legs. Oh, my God. Strong. Like she got strong <laughs> legs. Her cardio is crazy. Like she can. I'm not even gonna lie. She can outwalk me. Like if I, yeah. to, like, I can outrun her long distance, but walking, she got me beat. Like she can walk for hours. Endurance. Man, like this lady is in tip top shape. And I'm like, you sure you're 60? But I keep trying to tell people, yeah. you don't have to, like, prime example. I was talking about them, uh, the Dominican Congo and the Trinidad people not so long ago. And it was, uh, what's the other place? It's the Himalayan and some of, I forgot the other place. They live mostly, not the Himalayans, it's yeah. the other tropics place. I forgot, Himalayans is too cold. But um, they live off of coconuts, coconut flesh and coconut milk. The, this guy was, like, 90-something years old. And I thought they was lying. 90-something years old, he looks like my dad. And my dad isn't even 50. And I'm sitting here like, <laughs> how do you look that good? And, like, he's, like, 
like in shape. And I'm but, telling you, and yeah. what you think about them and you think about the monks and everybody else who's who like really practice yeah. good eating, good motion, good stretching, you know, yeah. and it's like they be 90, almost 100 years old and can beat That's you up. Fair. Like That's it's, it's crazy. It is crazy, man. But we got to get back. We got to get back to the exactly. original. Life, the original That's why. That's why our ancestors lived so long. Because I know exactly. um, um, the tribe I come from, like uh, my ancestors, they lived like a over a hundred years easily, easily That's over a hundred years. And and I still like uh, my great grandma. My great great grandma. She died when she was ninety five. Like I knew her. <laughs> you know what Ain't I mean? That something. Yeah, and that's and that's young, you know what I mean? Because right. I know like a lot of people in my tribe, they they live into like a hundred and fourteen years easily, easily, and uh, that's just to show you that. Um, let's say in in the society we live in right now, you had like you said earlier, you had to plant your food, you had to have your own eggs, your own farm, your and you had to hunt for your food. Now that's gonna put a perspective on how often our ancestors would hunt because it's way easier you know like yes you you have to plant the seed and wait for a seed but once it's all planted and it's all there it's so abundant and it's right there you just take it and you eat it and you compare it to hunting it's hours and sometimes days for one prey and you're going to tell me that our ancestors had meat every day they had it when they could right <laughs> and, and like just to show you during Dude. during the summer during the summer and during the equinox and during like the beginning of fall there's abundance in vegetation and in fruit and in everything and plants and then during winter there's no there's not a lot of of vegetation and plants and all that there is animals but then during the winter is the time for people to rest you see like animals they they work yeah, during summer and they sleep during winter that's how it is for every species but the human race and then right. during winter we're supposed to be resting and and e eating like like juicy and or water or just resting your metabolism and when you get hungry and you're on survival mode then you 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 can consume the animals if they're around you know what i mean right and people get it so twisted <laughs> right and, and just to piggyback what she's saying guys like the reason why especially like juicing and detoxing is so important around that time a lot of people and i'm not saying that what they're saying is wrong what i'm about to say you do get vitamin d from the sun but the rays that we get when it's cold as opposed to whenever the spring and the summer is here is too different it's not the mm -hmm. actual vitamin d that's hitting you it's a pheromonal vitamin d that hits the skin be a yeah everybody i don't know why people are calling my phone um the is <laughs> the is the is the pheromone of vitamin D that's hitting the skin and activate and even if you're and that's nothing too y'all even if you're white you have melanin you may not have as much but everybody has melanin mm -hmm. you know so it's like yeah. it hits your skin and then it converts into the pheromone of vitamin D that you need for energy that you need for lymphatic release that you need for reconstruction reasons why we say yeah. don't focus on protein focus on amino acids don't focus on synthetics focus on going outside don't focus on H2O mm -hmm. focus on H3O because like prime example exactly um Lately, I've been, I think I've, I think we, we might have talked about this recently, I don't remember, but like, I've been drinking more blueberries than eating them. And yeah. normally I eat and drink them simultaneously to, kind of, to make sure I don't go through like a crazy detox symptom because if you just juice and juice and that's the sign, your body's going to be like, oh, you want to you wanna cleanse, let's pull it all out then. You know, yeah. it was like, I was just juice and juice and juice and I was like, bro, and I, I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't eating the best this week. So like, whenever <laughs> I did that and I didn't realize what I was doing, I was so tired. My body was like, yeah. rest. You need to rest. And it's like, yeah. I wasn't listening. So I was like midway through the day. I'm just groggy. But my body is like, well, you've been juicing a lot. And yeah, exactly. you know, you might want to rest. It's cold, bro. You're not built. Like, exactly. I my, the first I've traced back my DNA so far is sub-Saharan. And like, we're right in the, the middle. Yeah. Like, not, not at the equator, but like, we're almost there. And nothing about mm -hmm. that area says I belong in the cold. And what my body's trying to tell me, get your behind in the house. Put some clothes on. You know, like, yeah. are you going to be outside, bundle up, and, like, take care of yourself? Cause, and make sure you're eating your fruits and vegetables. Because, and that's the one thing I will, that's the one thing I exactly. will say, the blessed part about where we are now, certain things do grow differently. We have the technology to kind of greenhouse certain things, so they, they're in season a lot longer than what they should be. But at the same time, yeah. the, we still can get it. There, You can get the seedless or seeded, even though the seed, they're, they're kind of hiding the seeded from us right now. Because believe it or not, y'all, there's actually a bunker in the, in like, uh, in the, where is it at? It's in like Antarctica, I believe. 
and every original seed, the first generation, they have what is just in case something was to happen, they have every yeah. single one. They're not gonna they're not gonna have all of this stuff out here for y'all to know. But like we have to find it because all of like the CDC, the F, all that stuff, that's all public documentation. You just gotta actually go through it, go to the site. All exactly. of this stuff is on there. Look for all the experimentations, you'll find it. And because we're not sitting on here lying like this on the actual governmental website. You know, and then yeah. when you go there and you look at it, I'm sitting there like, so y'all giving us GMOs and y'all giving us these hybrid doggone fruits and stuff like that, and y'all have the first gens just sitting there in the chamber. Like, exactly. you gotta Especially think about it, what are y'all experimenting on? You've never heard of? That again? I said, imagine the amount of fruits and vegetables we never heard of. I'll pose the question. Do you even think they can grow in this current climate, in this current env environment? Oh, my God. Honestly, though, I, I have, like, big faith in Mother Nature, and I feel like anything is possible with the divine forces. So it's like anything that they try the, the, to modify, anything that man tries to modify won't last long. You know what I mean? Like all those start, starchy food, um, it's, it's, it's going to take a little time for them to just fade because it's not from God. It's not of God. It's not of source. So I feel like anything that is of source is going to thrive hopefully soon <laughs> we need right. it right now <laughs> I, you know what I, here's a here's a here's a theory i feel as though i feel as though and i could look this might be a long shot this is just me what if we're in the middle of the biggest marketing scheme of all time oh, what yeah. if they're purposely withholding the seed, the seeded, the actual seeded stuff, and sparsely spreading it across the, the land, but everything else is out, like the GMOs and the seedless. That's all out, right? So the mm -hmm. world and our genetic structure is changing based upon that, right? Reasons why you see a lot of kids overdeveloped at the age of 10, 12. You know, we have like a, like yeah. if you notice, the new the new generation of kids are extremely tall, no matter where you go. But it's in like their their hormones are like raging really early because of all of the yes. genetic modifications in food. What if they know? That accelerated form is going to cause health problems down the road. So eventually, because they, they're promoting, oh, it's seedless and convenient, blah, blah, blah. Oh, but then they come back and say, oh, well, the seed dead is actually what it's supposed to be. And this is blah, 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 blah. And then years down the road, yeah. the boom comes back with the actual organic stuff. But then you pose like, but do we even trust that? You know, it's like, yeah, I, I don't know, I, exactly. I be going in the rabbit hole sometimes, but it's a lot. No, no, but it's true, though. It's true, because I, I remember I went to my gro my local organic grocery store, and I always go there, right? And then I got some key limes, and I'm like, yeah, you know, key limes, Dr. Sebi approved, we're good. And mm -hmm. I, I open up, I chop up the, the key lime, there's no seeds, and it's written organic. And I'm like, this is not, I, I was so confused. I was like, how do you label that organic? There's no seeds in it, bro. Reasons why I want my garden. So like, I'm so mad that I couldn't start it whenever I wanted to, because when I had the idea and I finally got the resources to do it, it is way too cold out here to start it. <laughs> but, yeah. but come like next month, month after, best believe I'm about to have bins of fruits. And like, I can only do so much with where I live right now. But when I yeah. move into where I really want to go, because I just, to me, I don't want, like, I don't need a big, crazy house. I just want land. Yeah. Like, give me, like, yeah, a simple, that's... a simple, you know, three-bedroom, whatever. Like, just give me that with some multiple bathrooms. I'm good, you know, for me and my family and stuff like that. But give me an acreage to where, like, I can fence it in. I can turn it into its own private property. I can have my greenhouse back there. I can have, you know, my whatever over here. Like I'm a, they like to call it country and Southern, but it's really, I just want to be organic because then I have something yeah. to not only pass down to my family, but pass down to the other, like the society, like, you know, just to help out because like, yeah, I'm just, I just don't, I don't know, bro. It's like, I just don't trust big corporations. I just don't. It's like, why? It's like, why do we have I don't to trust, go I don't trust none of that. I don't trust the gov, And I don't want to be that person, but unfortunately, I am. I don't trust the government. I don't trust big corporations. I don't trust anything that's not of God and from source itself. They haven't trust, given us a reason to trust them, honestly. Yeah, exactly. They take everything away from us. And I'm saying this, I come from, I come from uh, um, communism and terrorism i don't know if i can say this this word country uh in in africa so i come here and i see like oh my god you know like canada it's like that they portray that pe perfect american dream you know where everyone is nice and accepting and loving and then you, you see me 20 years later living in the same shit i left my country for 
And I'm like, people are like, oh, they're calling me crazy. They're calling me this and that. I'm like, I live through this and I know when it's happening again. You know what I mean? So no, I don't trust the government. And I trust my ancestors and when they what they provided to me because it served me in my life spiritually, physically, mentally, like in every way. But what did the government do for me that, that was good for me? You know, exactly. I, I went exactly. to school. I, I was called, I dropped out of school. I was called a high school dropout because I didn't do well in school because of ADHD. But that ADHD was just telling me that this is not what we want to focus on because it's all exactly. bullshit. Exactly. I never, I didn't have concentration problems. I just was, didn't want to concentrate on something that was not worth it. Right. And then that's, that's another thing too. It's like, they're not, they're not teaching kids because like i grew up with i have i have my mother she's been in the education system as long as i've been alive my mother worked yes. her way up from special education all the way up to like she's um she works the all like she controls the entire office of that one of the biggest high schools in the city that, we, that we're in right now but my my family my mom's side of the family is like just socialites you know they they're known for like doing celebrities hairs and stuff like like they're, they're known for stuff like you know it's, it's a real they're like some of the, the greatest people in the city but it's like yeah i watched especially being like having to be, I mean, as my mom told me, if there's educational events, I have to be there. You know, like I, that's what we do. And like, yeah. I watch the system and it's like, they like to say, oh, their kids ADHD and this, that, and the third, but none of like prime, prime example. Why aren't we teaching the real history? Why aren't we teaching the act? Like, why are we in school teaching these kids, these types of math and science and stuff like that? And then, cause what was, what was big for me when I got to college and half the stuff yes. that I learned in high school did not transfer at all oh no and i was like no y'all wasted so much time and now i'm about to waste so much money i was this stuff right it pissed me off because it's like yeah. in high well all the way up until high school they're not gonna let you get away with this in college oh it's gonna be like this in college and blah 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 yeah. and i'm like well why y'all teaching us this and then i get to college and it's like this is nothing like i feel like the only reason why i was somewhat prepared and flourished in college like i did was because i'm naturally just inquisitive it's like yeah. i would just read the book for no reason like i want to know why that's just me you know, but yeah. like I'm looking at my friends that came to college with me and like what they're struggling with is like, how you know that? I was like, well, I just read the book. Yeah, that's not the assignment. I just read the book, you know, and it's like half the stuff doesn't even translate. But they want to say, oh, this kid has ADHD and blah, 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 blah. Well, he doesn't really want to listen to how colon uh, colonism. What's the word I'm looking for? Colonism? Colonialism? I think colonialism, how all of that started and how and most of that is just fake history anyway. Why why it's can't just, why can't they balance out the history? Okay, yeah, we talked yeah. about all this type of stuff, but let's talk about let's talk about how cause like live like I can remember like it's yesterday. Majority of like the civics classes, I was in honors, so like the civics classes, the history classes, all that type of stuff. It was all about this European, 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 European. And then when we finally it's get to that, something that's close to African American or native, whatever you want to call it, it's like if yeah. if two weeks of it, then we go back to this and it's like none of that's important. Or at least yeah, let, let me feel exactly. represented in the classroom, you know? Exactly. And, you know, the the thing for me is um, I can't stand liars and I can't stand lies. I always pick up on that. And it's funny because the educational system, the same educational system that tells you that Christopher, Christopher Columbus discovered America is teaching you all the other shit and that you know that nobody discovered America. People were it always was already, exactly. here. And exactly. you tell me that someone, some European guy discovered a whole continent, um, and then you keep teaching me things that, that you want me to think that, that aren't lies, and you want me to believe that? You know what I mean? If right. one thing was a lie, what makes you think that not everything they're telling is a lie? Exactly. You know what I mean? It's based on a lie that they invented, they created, because they are the winners, and the winners write the history. Exactly. You know? That's a great way to so put it. So that's why... I don't, I don't, anything that's like, oh, do you have a, do you have peer-reviewed articles? Is this real science? I'm like, the same science that they teach you in school? No, it's not. And it's, it's just funny because imagine you're, you're um, in the medical field, okay, and you were in, in university or school or whatever for 10 years to learn that same thing that I learned through astrology. Imagine if all doctors uh, were into astrology, how they could actually help people. 
you know what i mean because i'm not a doctor i'm not i'm not uh, really good at um anatomy like they are but imagine if i had the same knowledge and autonomy uh, anatomy as a doctor with the astrology that i'm doing like so many people came to me they're like oh doctors don't know what i have and this and that and i read their chart and i'm like oh you have pcos because you have a you have a thyroid issue and the the, the doctors are giving them like birth uh birth control i'm like yeah that's synthetic that's not gonna help you as soon as you're off that you're gonna <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna deteriorate you like 10 times uh worse than you were before but they couldn't they couldn't associate that with the thyroid and the, the pituitary gland they couldn't do that it's like that's not the root of the problem they have to go to the root and you can do that through astrology and just basic examination you know but exactly. unfortunately you don't learn that in school <laughs> <laughs> no, and that's the part that kind of Sorry, bugs I'm like me so passionate it's... about this. No, but no, but for good reason <laughs> because it's like I had to go through that same process. It's like because you know me, I'm a big biology science nerd. Like I love science. I talk about science all the time. Yeah. And what I do coincides with like electrical herbs and fruits and how it how yeah. this digests to this and it's all like that's me. But like the one I'll say this the as far as like identifying body parts, function and well functionality of the body. This that and the third. Science has done a really good, great, a really great job of that. But as far as yeah. diagnosing diseases and like how to yeah. cure it and why is this doing that in the third, that's when like you can tell somebody was like, okay, um, let me let me edit that real quick. Cause like if you really yeah. study, if you follow like how they teach us biology and chemistry from childhood up into adulthood, it's fairly accurate. But then when you get inside mm-hmm. like the nitty gritty of everything, yeah. they start changing names of stuff. They start changing yeah. functionality. And that's like, well, how you know the difference and blah, 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 blah. When you start actually finding the real holistic books and the real, yeah. like, and that's nothing too. Start getting books that's outside of what the school is telling you to get. Like, I actually went, I actually get, like, can I even show it? It's way over there. I the think I'll fall out. I have, like, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I got 13 books on the body right there on Strictly Anatomy. Like, yes. I'm, I'm going to grab them. Pull up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love this. <laughs> Like, bro, take the time. Take the... Hold on, I got to take this thing off so y'all can see it. Hold up. <laughs> yeah, you have it, a nice background. That's how cool. hard is it to take the time to actually sit there and find books that's actually about the body and that's actually going to tell you how it works and how what <laughs> herbs mean <laughs> and childhood... Dep- like, it's not that hard to just sit there and exactly. read. Like, I don't... I love I don't that. Freaking get! I don't get it. And then it's like it makes sense when you start when you really start reading it. It makes a hundred and ten percent sense, or as opposed to like the last book I remember from college when I was in no 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 from high school because I did biology one and biology two. It was all making sense. We started dissecting stuff. I was like, okay, cool, yeah, that makes sense. And then they started talking about well, this medicine goes with here, and I was like, wait, but that that chemistry doesn't follow with what y'all was saying how that works over here. Well, this goes here exactly. and blah, blah, blah. I was like, but how is it autoimmune if we have lymph nodes and lymphatic system? It, That's contraproductive. Bro. They were like, well, like it doesn't, exactly. none of what they say makes sense. And it's so annoying. It's so annoying, bro. You know so why? Annoying. You know why? Because they never include the electricity of the body. They don't consider us as living human beings with electromagnetism. That's why. Because they just see, like, the liver as the liver and the lungs as the lungs. They don't see that all of these organs, they work as one because we are electric beings who need to be charged electrically. That's why it's so important to eat fruits, to have crystals around you. And in your your room, to have all four elements. You need to have air. You need to have earth you need to have water you need to have fire or smoke that's why he's it's talking about this y'all. wait hold on wait i can, I can <laughs> show everybody exactly what you're talking about and you you on the but that's how i know you're not catching she's talking about this she's talking about yeah this, get this right here <laughs> this right here like i was like My you're supposed to structure your house a certain type of way and i actually followed this book it's crazy like the chinese yeah. people call it feng shui um, America way. calls it calls it vibes and all that type of stuff, but it's really a in, <laughs> like people gotta realize the way you structure your house literally controls the spiritual energy within your house and how it flows in and out. Exactly. Like people are like, well, exactly. It's cluttered and I can't get my mind straight in this and the third. That's why it's important to keep your house clean because you like your house is a literal is a literal depiction of your internal and especially like whenever you have multiple people in the same house. 
it's important to keep it clean and organized because there's different spiritual dominances or principalities in the same house. And if they're not coincide, mm-hmm. the reason why people can like move in with somebody or a stranger or like they'll be a, they add them, like they'll sublease or something like that. Oh, it feels off in here. Or oh well, I just don't feel right going inside of that room. It's not balanced. It's not cleansed. It's not cleaned out. Like you have to do the work. You have to make sure that you look like reasons why. And we saw that to say, because we're about to tie this back to the spring equinox, y'all. But it's all engulfed in that one thing. But I, we saw that to say, like, in, in, in it, like energetic balance and energetic, gu- energetic guidance, it all plays a role in how you cleanse your life. Hell and high water yep. is breaking off right now. Prime example, whenever the, the, the pandemic first started, I was doing um, training sessions and okay. was known as the city park out here. It's like this big open court. Like the sun is like, it's barely in the trees around. So it's just sun. You out in the sun. And like, I was having like two, three classes a day. Like people was out there in the sun sweating. They're following my health protocols. I'm telling them what I'm bringing fruits and stuff. Like, you know, people doing it the right way. Not one person caught COVID. Not one person. But when it got cold and people started quitting and people start, you know, people don't commit. They started staying home this, that, and the third. I started getting phone calls. I got COVID. I got this, that, and the third. It's like, why are you not sick? I never stopped. I never stopped. I kept, <laughs> yeah. Like, I, like whenever COVID first started hit chlorophyll and elderberry syrup, I was do it. Every elderberry. Day. Every My every God. day, it was no game. Yo. It was no game at all. <laughs> that elderberry hit different. It do. I be trying to tell people, but it's like it's so man. We can we can we don't have to be in what we're in. I'm exactly. not saying I'm not saying life doesn't happen. I'm not saying. We can have a hundred percent of control over with, every, with everything that's going on, but just like we can come together, well, I'm not gonna say we because I don't participate in what I'm about to say, but just like they can come together and do like this cancel culture and all this other type of stuff. Oh. It's like, how is it so hard to come together and start a movement about being healthy and not the fake healthy, exactly. like the real healthy? Like, let's really talk. Like, let's exactly. think about it. Prime ex- prime example, and I've talked about this before. Did you know they shadow banned me? On Instagram, when I took the actual, like I screen recorded, the FDA and the CDC had a, uh, a uh, <laughs> they did like a, uh, like the international, like the the meeting and everything. It was explaining how the vaccines actually don't work, and they was on live tell it like I watched it on YouTube, like they, I watched the actual from their channel, screen recorded majority of it because my phone went out of memory, posted it right, and then they flagged me and banned me, and it was like, oh well, that's because you're sharing false information. I was like, the FDA and the CDC, this is the actual recording of it. <laughs> Why is it that they're saying this don't work and blah 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 and they're, they're fear mongering people, but they're not because going back and it's not the experts saying it. It's misinformation. Experts in what? In that? Because that's what they they they're experts at. They're experts at that, not how Crazy, to bro. live. They're experts Crazy. at b- putting people in lockdowns and putting people in in uh, buying shit food and locking down grocery stores. They're experts at that. Ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy? That's messed up. You should see in Canada right now because uh, I live in Canada. If you guys didn't know it, um, right now I'm gonna tell you right now. So we're we're gonna circle back to what you said earlier about my Instagram Mm -hmm. story. Um, right now we have peaceful protests because in Canada you cannot enter a grocery. Well, now they're removing it. You cannot enter a grocery shop without your vaccine passport. And they're they're trying to get people at least triple vaxxed for that. And they want to update it every six months. So you got to get your yearly dose. So right now, we have vaccine passports if you want to leave or enter the country. Um, if you want to go to groceries, if you want to go to the gym, if you want to go to any indoor activity, if you want to go skiing outside, you need to have a vaccine passport. If you want to go outside, you know, remind me how this is about a virus. Anyway, so we have we have truckers. I don't know if you guys heard about it. Uh, it's mm-hmm. not in the media. Nobody knows about it. But we have truckers that are peacefully protesting. And the truckers are like the nervous system of Canada. You know, they bring us food. They yeah, bring definitely. us supplies. They bring us everything. And Trudeau is calling them uh, uh, terrorists. So imagine calling your suppliers terrorists. So right now... Uh, they're all in Ottawa and the capital of Canada protesting for our freedoms, for our rights, for our food, for everything, uh, for the for the well-being of everybody mentally and physically. And right now we have snipers, snipers on top of buildings Crazy. targeting citizens and kids and women and men and Crazy. veterans, veterans, my guy. We have snipers. We have the U.S. police because Bruh. our Canadian army and 
can you believe most of most of the the groups right. refuse to arrest people because police is here to serve and protect the citizen not the Supposedly. government unless you're corrupted so right now it's it's pretty deep in canada and they're trying to have like a distraction by removing uh some some um uh some mandates like the vaccine mandates and stuff like that but it's just like a distraction to like what's actually happening in the capital so yeah and you know what's crazy i don't know if you saw it but you know they started the concentration camps in australia right yeah in canada too my god we have them. that's we have scary the camps. that's scary reasons yes. why yes. i keep yes. some things on me that's not y'all not taking me <laughs> y'all not taking me yeah. it's not happening and it's crazy because it, see like you guys in america you're lucky for the constitution the strong constitution that you have we don't have that here <laughs> like we don't have that here <laughs> like they they say that but like see i could and that's the stuff that be giving me shadow ban on social media because i'm one of the people that's like i follow a lot of the pages that show the injustice side of the world it's not all yeah. Instagram models and all this other type of stuff on my on yeah. my page. It's like I'm seeing Thanks. stuff that's really happening. Reason why I already don't like being on social media to begin with, because I'm seeing what you know, it's, yeah. it's a lot. And like, yeah. you know, it, it it's prime example. Like the doggone concentration have to go on. Somebody say, wait, what? And I'm about to explain it. In Australia, they literally took people that decided to not get vaccinated or update yeah. their vaccines. They pull you away from your family, and it's by by law. They pull you away yeah. from your family. You're in like I wish I could see the size of this room. The house is about the size of this room. You have times when you can come out, and then you can't mingle. You come out to like what's like a little porch area. They give you like water and this that, and the third, and you go right back in. They don't yeah, let you. They, they don't. You can't do nothing. Too. Oh my god! If you saw what they're doing to the Aboriginal people of Australia, they're taking their kids away. And and let me just yeah. say, in Aboriginal cultures and Indigenous cultures, if you're really, really like aligned with spirits. It's it's against the values and beliefs to to you know get jabbed up. That's just like the 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 belief of indigenous uh people of of all of all around the world. Um, and they're they're taking the kids away from them. They're taking their 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 land. They're taking all this to build camps Illegally. where they can lock Illegally. them up. And then you want to say you want to say like uh people of color lives matter and and this and that. Okay, so prove it. Oh uh, oh, my body, my choice. Okay. So, like, follow what you're preaching. <laughs> Practice what you're preaching. That's why I try to tell people. We is like, is no more. And look, like I said before earlier on the live stream, I'm here for the, I'm here for the protests. I'm here for all of that. But let's just pull the money away. Pull it away. Yeah. You start pulling it away. You start pulling it from where it's going. Like they're gonna be like, oh, what well, these people? Are. And and I will say this because like you don't want it. That's one thing I don't want. To, I don't want to happen in this live stream. I don't want people to get like, oh, it's doom and gloom and make it feel hopeless. I personally feel as though there's just enough people working to reverse this, like people yes. like us and more, as working to for reverse sure, and make sure. people aware and and, be, and have activism and stuff like that, as there are people that's for doing whatever. Sure. But it's just the, well, here's another thing people don't understand. Every 500 years, it's called societal collapse. Societies yeah. aren't built to last longer than 500 years. It's just human genetic mm -hmm. psychological structure. America is in year seven, 750, we're in year 750 something. And we're like 200 plus years due for a collapse. The reasons why our society is literally mutating itself right now. Mm -hmm. And why things exactly. are, are psychologically running rampant and crazy. Like exactly. if you go back and look at time and you look at the structures of what they call errors, it's really societal destruction. And what what comes from the ashes, another form of society. And yeah. I feel like we have we have another, we have a, a definitely another form of like reactivation and for things to progress forward. Because it always progressed forward. Yes. But I feel as though it doesn't have to be as demonic. But, it, but thing, I mean, you said I what? I wanted to add to your point because astrologically speaking, because every day when I wake up, I look at the chart and I was doing some calculations and then I saw that, that, like like you said right now, we're right now in the middle of this collapse of this society because we're in the age of Aquarius. That's the age of enlightenment, the age of knowing. And we just entered the age of Aquarius in, uh, I believe, 2020, the August, August 2020. Uh, and every age lasts about 2,100 years, okay? And mm -hmm. uh, right now, the age of Aquarius, we have Pluto. Pluto is the planet of uh, destruction and My transformation. Right now, it's going to enter Aquarius in 2023. So this is when you know 
uh, people are going to start to really spiritually wake up and have the knowledge, have the end light in men, which is light in mind. Uh, when Pluto enters Aquarius, and this is close, you guys, this is very close. Um, right. And, and we'll add to that. And we have we have Saturn, which is the planet that makes things difficult. It's like a father figure here to teach us lessons that is currently in Aquarius. And in four days, we have um, uh, the 22, wait, the uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, so 02, 22, mm -hmm. 20, 22. And this is on this specific day, which is no coincidence, is going to be Pluto's return on itself. So like Pluto's rotation. And it's going to be back. Uh, in four days, Pluto is going to return in its initial spot in four days. And keep in mind, Pluto is the planet of destruction and transformation. So just watch and see what happens on, on the 22nd world. It's going, it's going crazy. It's going crazy. Oh, That's how I'm trying I'm to tell people, get ready for the spring. I'm excited get ready to for see the spring. <laughs> like, be, like, exactly what she's saying. If y'all, like, have y'all dreams been crazy? Have y'all been seeing stuff? Have y'all been craving different things? Have y'all been trying to oh, rest a lot more? Yeah. Like, like it's not happening for no also, reason. I Say wanted to share. Uh, I had a dream recently that I also wanted to share, and it goes exactly with the situation that's happening right now. Um, if if you live in Canada or in North America, specifically in the U.S., but mostly in Canada, go to your bank and retract your money because. Uh, oh yeah. That's, that's that's the dream that I had. Is I, I, I went to the bank and they shut down my account. They're like, oh, you're posting too much crap on social media and you're supporting you're supporting the truckers. So we, we stopped your, your account and they just deleted my money. And I know it's just a dream, but then I looked on the news and they, they closed um, uh, the accounts of people who donated money to the GoFundMe for the truckers. They, they stopped their their financial they, they stopped their accounts and i had the dream and i was like okay like it's time to go to the bank and retract your money <laughs> like, like think you about like china, china's um do you watch black mirror uh no i don't so oh yeah just... my friend does he told me about it yeah so okay so you know i'm about to talk about like the the score yeah. system the society score system yes that's been a thing in china and, it, in and like china. now they're public with it like and it's yes. only gonna spread this way Exactly. I've been telling you, I've been talking about this for two years and two years ago, people would be calling me crazy. But now it's like everything that I said happened. It's literally written in the stars, you guys. It's like crazy. I said, we're not trying to, we're not trying to fear y'all, bro. We're not trying to make y'all fearful, it's but not, it's like, y'all just got to realize what's thing. going on. When you know, when you have the knowledge, you don't fear anything. You're just prepared. And you know what exactly. I mean? Like when, when I look at the chart and I see this, uh, and Pluto is like the, um, the planet of destruction and transformation, it's like the death and the transformation that comes after, which is, which is the renewal of the society. And right now we have Mars, the, the um, planet of action and war, and Venus in conjunction. So they're married together. So mm -hmm. we're going to have a change, a, a, a call for action coming from love. You know, so there's a lot of goodness that's coming, but right. it, has to, it has to go through destruction first in order mm -hmm. for us to see clearly what is happening and, and to, to live in the present moment. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, the spring reasons why we've been promoting the spring equinox so much, because it's a moment to where like, you know, how they say face to face, glory to glory. Like you have y'all have a time period from now until March 20th to gear up as much spiritual backing as you need. Because I'm not saying, now look, I'm not saying oh, yeah. apocalypse and Armageddon. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is when you are in line with the spiritual seasons, no matter what's going on around you, you will be okay. And I'm not saying that like, yeah, I'm exactly. not saying that, that like all the people that's unaware because, you know, ignorance is bliss and blah, 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 blah. Those people have a different spiritual journey than we do. If you're on this live stream right now, you're supposed to be on this live stream. You're one of the people that's supposed to be ready for the spring equinox because you are charged and you know better now. For the people that don't understand it, don't worry about them. They're they're judged and they go through life and they're dealt with spiritually differently because we we are we are treated via spiritually based off of why did my phone do that? We are based on um, <laughs> you saw it's like it's crazy. Um, we are, we are, we are based, not based, we are treated via uh, the spirit world based off of what we know, you know? So it's like, if, there it goes. So if, 
you know, you know X, Y, and Z, spiritually you're going to be accounted for it. But if not, reasons why if a five-year-old was to pass away and a 35-year-old was to pass away, they're going to be judged spiritually totally differently. I don't know if y'all watch um, Midnight Gospel. That's another uh, series that I love. And, like, there's this one particular episode about, like, not necessarily reincarnation. It has a lot of meanings to it. But not necessarily reincarnation, but, like, judgment, spiritual judgment based off of what you know and what you choose to do with that information. You know, and it's like it showed him dying time and time and time again until he figured it out. You know, and then that's symbolic to what's going on right now. Like, we going, yes, it is all, I love Midnight Gospel. I, like, bro, just watch it. If y'all haven't watched it, please watch it. Um, and right before we open up the, the q and I want to just kind of like wrap up this because we could talk about this all day. Um, essentially, what I'm saying is, and, and I feel like what her and I are saying uh, mutually is that, you know, you guys have a moment in time to where we are all divinely connected in this very moment. Everybody in this live stream, whether you're speaking or listening or commenting, you're supposed to be here. You are charged with your own spiritual elevation. It is time for you to cleanse your body out, period. It is time for you to spiritually get your life together. Those of you that's been running away from your spiritual responsibilities, those of you that are very in tune with your spiritual prowess and refuse to use it, or you've been hurt, or you've been traumatized, it is time to heal. It is time to move forward because what you don't want to do is miss out on your destiny. The spring equinox is designed specifically by God to transition us from season to season in the most beneficial way possible. It is one of the first of many huge blessings that we're going to have this year. And if you sit back after watching all of this and listening to all of this and decide to do nothing, I'm not going to say anything. I'm, I, I'm not God. I can't say that anything bad is going to happen to you. But what I will say is you're going to miss out on one of the most biggest opportunities of your life. None of this is happening by chance. Divine timing is real. Like, please, please tap in. Go to my site and get the detox. Go to her site and get consulted. Like, do something. You have to do something. Get yourself in a line with the equinox. Meditate. Manifest. You start, like, what I do, I have a dream journal. I write down my dreams. I dissect them. Everything. You, like, make sure you're ready. Somebody say my body isn't even part participating in my denial anymore see what i'm saying it comes to a point to where your your actual anatomy and spirit and spirit is like nope like i'm not letting you you know there's times where there's times where i lack discipline and consistency and my body's like who are you playing with we ain't got time to waste you know it's like we are responsible you know so like i said i could talk about this on and on again but at least hear, hear us out when we say this before we open up the questions um, and y'all can ask anything. Y'all can actually start asking questions right now as I as I wrap this particular topic up. But I just charge each and every one of you to sow inside of your life now. Start getting proper rest. Start detoxifying your body. Start meditating. Start praying. Start talking to God and whatever. And that's nothing. It's interpersonal. You don't have to be. You don't have to be doing all of that. Like really <laughs> sit back and like however you want to talk to God in whatever way. Some people talk to God through drawing. Some people talk to God in vocal. Some people dream and talk to God. Whatever it is, tap into your spirit. Because whenever March yes. 20th hit, when it hits, oh, buddy, them floodgates yes. going to be, I'm ready. Like, I'm so I'm so ready. Like, it may, I can only imagine what's going to happen. Because me, and, and I'm not bragging when I say this, but I can only imagine what's going to hit my doorstep. Because all of the investing I've been doing in other people's lives. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I've been doing it, like, wholeheartedly. So I'm knowing God up there, like, uh-huh, put this in this basket. Put that in this basket. though. No, he like these. Put that in here. So when it's going to hit, like, he's going to be dumping. I'm going to be sitting here like, it's, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? That's for me. But You're collecting the blessings, oh, brother. Oh, yeah, man. I'm ready. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. And, I'm, <laughs> and I speak that over all of y'all, too. Like, like accept it. Like, accept the change. Believe accept it, the positivity. Yes, yes. You know, it's it's for y'all. It's and That's another thing. There's no cap on it. That's the beautiful part about, about, this, about spiritual stuff. There's no limit. It's abundant. It's literally, it's literally the source. So the more you lean on God and like, hey, give me guidance, give me wisdom, show me. Is that simple? Like, even if you don't know how to pray or meditate, I dare y'all to do this. Okay, God, I don't know what to do. Help me start. Help me understand. Yeah. Like, just talk. Like, I'll write it down. Start like a spiritual journal. Something. Just start something and watch what happens. You have now until March 20th to start. Imagine just a week yeah. or not even just a week from now to, to March 20th. You gave at least seven days of trying. Imagine what that's going to multiply into yeah. because that's the thing. Favor isn't fair. So, like, you could be somebody that, start, that starts the day before the equinox. And then the equinox hit and you get blessed more than people that's been preparing since last year. You know? Facts. But, that's facts. A, it's like. 
I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna let look. You can take over. Y'all can start the questions. I'm. Gonna, I gotta take my mom real quick. I don't know what she wants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he here? Did he leave? No, I'm, I'm still right here. I'm just texting her real quick. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, like like you were saying. Um. Right now, if you are looking for a sign to start and to take care of your health, I swear to Bob, right now is the perfect moment to do so. Like, look at the sun shining. Look at the vibe, you know? It's, it's right now. Listen to your spirit. Listen to your heart. If you close your eyes for a second, look, if you if you want a tip for looking for guidance, this is what I do. This is what I do. I'm going to put my phone right here and show you guys. Because I do Reiki, and Reiki is... Um, it's a Japanese type of uh, healing. Reiki only means uh, uh, life force energy. So everyone has life force energy since we're born. So you place on your heart, you close your eyes, you, you breathe, you start breathing deeply. You connect to yourself, you connect to your higher self, you connect to your subconscious. You take a moment of silence and you ask, give me guidance, show me where to go, tell me what to do. And you start to note uh, the images and the visions you have in your head, what you hear, what you feel, uh, see how you feel inside. Listen to your body. And when I mean to listen to your body, I mean truly take a minute of silence and see what your gut is telling you. If you if you stop talking for just a minute and you listen to your body, oh, you're that gonna part, hear that part. That part. You're gonna hear. You're gonna hear your stomach start going like or you gonna you're gonna feel your kidney punching or you're gonna feel your heart palpitating or you're gonna feel your your throat tingling you're gonna feel something this is what your body is trying to tell you these, these are the signs but we're so disconnected yes. and we're not living in a yes. present moment that we're not here our bodies so this is my tip to you is to truly take a moment um to to be in the present with yourself your body your mind your spirit your heart your your yourself truly to connect and you're gonna tap into that powerful life force energy and it's gonna tell you exactly what you need and ex exactly what to do and how to do it that part i love it oh my god i love it i love it this is see this this is the stuff people <laughs> need part. to understand this is the stuff that people need to understand before we go into like the next phase of life like Man, people just don't understand, bro. Like it's it's time. Like it's it's no longer like we have no reason to wait. Like what what is what is there to be scared about? It's like oh, I tap into something greater and my life turns around. What's wrong with that? Or do you want to sit back in pain and suffering for the rest of your life? You know, it's, it's I don't I don't understand it. I just don't understand the complacency. Oh, she's lagging. You still with us? I think your signals. I think the signals getting weird. <laughs> Somebody was on the microwave. She about to go unplug it. <laughs> she about to be up there just unplugging. Like, so turn it off. Turn it off. Somebody said we really do need to understand. Thank you both for your time. Thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for listening. I'm glad. Like I said earlier, y'all supposed to be up in here. Everybody that's up in here is supposed to be up. In here. You ain't unplugged the microwave, huh? Yeah, man, and I told them before this, the the live, I was like, "Don't use it," and she out there using it. Disrespect. That's crazy. Got it all. Got it all. <laughs> I was like, "What are you using the microwave for? It's unhealthy." <laughs> that I feel like that's one of that's one of the the craziest changes I went. I haven't owned a microwave since. So oh God, we're in twenty two. Since two thousand and nineteen, I want to say. I haven't used the microwave in like almost three, like three and a half years. I want to say, and it's it's a significant yeah. difference. It's a and we have like a gas stove over here, so it's like we warm up everything either the stove or like the oven, and like it's a significant difference in like how your food goes right. down and everything, and what you decide and to how eat it tastes too. That. It's crazy. Big difference. You're not nuking your food. <laughs> Yeah, seriously. It really does taste different. <laughs> Bro, speaking of, that, my mom was calling me to tell me she want to go eat out at 6 o'clock. I was like, I have to perform. <laughs> <laughs> Talking That's about funny. food. Wait, what time is it? At your, it's, it's it's 3 right now. 3, oh, we got, we got time. I don't have to be, I have to perform at a place, well, I ain't going to say the, the name because I don't want nobody going to look it up. But I have to perform at, <laughs> the show starts at 6, so I have to get there for 
like five five fifteen. So as long as we're done by like four fifteen, we should we got time. We got time. We've been on live for a long time. Yeah. We got time. I'm not I'm not rushing it. That's cool. I have my friend coming over around like five. So that'll be a friend, huh? A friend, huh? As a girlfriend. Chill. Oh, let me stop playing. Let me stop playing. <laughs> Although I have to tell you after, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, well, shoot. This, that's, this has been the live, everybody. I'll talk to you. Let me, let me stop. Let me stop. Let's, let's <laughs> open it up for questions. Any, any questions? Feel any the questions. theme. <laughs> As y'all can see, we've been doing a lot of talking. We, we've been, we formed a very dope relationship. <laughs> We're besties. What do you mean? Y'all can't get like this if y'all wanted to. Somebody put, I got rid of my microwave a long time ago, too. But now I have Wi-Fi getting rid of it, too. See, that's the thing. It's like, how can I put it? With the, the day and age that we live in, I can respect that. I'm not going to lie. Me, personally, with the way I run my business, stuff like that, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep my Wi-Fi. That's just how my and like that's just how my stuff runs. But I, do, I will say this. Eliminate as much as possible. I, Yo, I you know what's good for that? You know what's hmm. good for that? Oh my god, I know it helped me so much. Wait, let me find it for you. I have this crystal. Crystals are good to block EMFs. Let me just say that crystals yeah. are good to block EMFs. So I have crystals on my computer and it's tested. If you put like a you know those little EMFs machines and you yeah. put the crystal between the computer and da, 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 and it goes to like zero real quick. A <laughs> hundred to zero real quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so <laughs> um, I have it here on the, my old phone, as you can see. This little crystal. Bro, I haven't seen it, a case like that in so long. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love my glitters. Um, I have I have this big boy right here by my bed, rose Not crystal. Big boy. <laughs> I have uh, this one. I have crystals all around my bed for protection, for for demon protection, for spiritual. Somebody protection. Somebody just asked on mine, and they say I have small crystals. Will that work? Yes, of course. Of course it works. It's not about the size. It's about the... Okay, anyway. <laughs> she gonna get me kicked off of TikTok. <laughs> hey, oh, I just bro. mentioned the size of the... I didn't say anything. That is... That is... Oh, and speaking you of, y'all... Hey, look, I know we kind of joking, but speaking of, I'm just gonna put it out there. I have an enlargement uh, protocol. I'm almost done with all the guys out there, and I'm gonna let y'all know. So, and I'm like, I like, I know it's it's a funny, it's a funny topic, but I'll put it to y'all this way: it works. It does it works. work. It does it, it work. Works. It does. <laughs> so we gonna we gonna let's open the floor up for questions. We gonna open the floor up for questions. <laughs> oh man, oh, I love I love phone. being live with you. It's so much fun. It's so natural. That's because all we doing is going live and, and she said the what the seat the seat, I don't know what she trying to say the uh is what we doing is like granted we have to filter a lot of what they, I wish they can really hear how we really talk but like know. You know, we just got to filter it for social media because we be I ain't gonna lie we both have have cussing problems we cuss ourselves <laughs> <sin. laughs> we both have you know what we're very passionate people very <laughs> very we we like yeah. what we were talking about the other day we were talking about uh. Being sick and tired of being healthy sometimes, <laughs> and like we just started going off. <laughs> we just started going. Off. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> uh, oh man. Any so questions? I had... Oh no, no, you go. My bad. I didn't mean to cut you off. The lag. No, no, it's all good. You know what's funny is that this this whole time, how long has it been since we're we're live? Like over an hour. Uh, yeah, um, I wanna have. I haven't had I haven't had any comment on my side, which is funny. I don't know, is it blocked or something? It's just weird. I have no idea. All the people that's commenting on mine, uh it's most of the people that follow me, honestly. But then it is some uh, some new people here and there, but it's like if three or a few new people. Cause I got the most I hit like seventeen people in here, so it's like we now okay. we up on the like, okay, got but like your it's message. not like a lot of people. <laughs> you say what? <laughs> Okay, so it is working. Nobody likes me. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. I don't think that's the reason, but you know, it might be something else. <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, so I had a question for you. I, I wanted to. I wanted to talk about um, nutrition. 
nutrition and gains at the gym. And I wanted to know how you do it, how you have your gains at the gym. Okay, prime example. I'm so glad she said that. Look at this, y'all. I want to show y'all something. I want to show y'all my little scrawny self and how I got big. I wanted to show them the picture. I love showing people the picture. Hold up. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to talk about that because so many people are like, oh, it's impossible to uh, it's not. grow muscle on an alkaline plant-based diet. Da, da, da. So Meanwhile, you got people like Tony Washington that <laughs> We are both doing it. The first, this was my first one. Hold up, it's loading. It got low from my iCloud. Give it a second. This is gonna be the. Can it load? Okay, can y'all can y'all see that? The picture. Damn, the, what the? The first picture was whenever I like I really started. Like I was like one forty five, as y'all can see, and on the other side I was one seventy three. I didn't even recognize you. Exactly. I was 173. See, I wear hoodies a lot. So, like, y'all can really, and I'm, and I, I like, I really, I, I'm one of those people to always, like, until I get my body to where I want it to look like, I'm not going to lie, I hide it a lot. And it's not an insecurity thing. It's just like, I'm a, you know me, I'm a perfectionist. So, it's like, until I get to that, that look I want, I'm just like, no, nah, like, no, nah, I don't want y'all to see it. So, like, this was like my first time, like, really getting at it. And it, and it was just in one summer. It didn't take like a year, it was like one summer. But I was eating. Now I, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't. I wasn't a hundred percent plant based. Like I was like 90, 10, 80, 20. But like the times that I did eat, it was like eggs here and there. And I don't remember. I was paying for it. But other than that, it was like, dude, I was eating oatmeal cr like crazy. I was tearing down fruits. Like for me, my go-to fruits are like green apples, uh, bananas. Well, plantains now. Um, I love like like you know me berries. I'm a berry head. Now, granted, it takes a little time. Because it's not as calorically dense as meat is, but like you get so like this was pull up. So that was the first one, right? And that's essentially how I was doing it. And then I want to show you the other one, cause I had I want to try something different. So COVID had hit, and where it was? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Yo, when the lockdown hit, I literally lost forty pounds, y'all. They closed the Same. gyms, and I wasn't eating proper. That hit me hard. I was skinny dinky do. And even my hair, like, look at this. Hold up. My hair, when I started eating right, my hair got long. Like, it got crazy long. Yo, what? That's my hair you? Got crazy long. Yo! Yeah. It's just, it's just, dread. like oh I said, it's, it's, it's in dreads now. So, like, you can't really, you can't really tell. But when I comb it out, and that's an Yo. old picture. That's like a really old picture. When I really combed it out, it was like way down there, off of plants. And then That's I started doing. So cool. Hold up, I got I got some more. We both have long hair. <laughs> I love I love my hair, bro. It took me so long to get it. And then this was For whenever yeah. I had lost all of that weight, intent. right? So on the left was when I lost all of that weight again because COVID and all that type of stuff. And then I did the, essentially yeah. the same thing, and I boomed up again. I got like it's not people think it's so hard these days to like get jacked and get blah 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 and this that and the third off of off of plants. Go look up Tory Washington. Go look up people like that. That that's like IFB. I mean IBF, like actual bodybuilders. That and he's been like um, he's been plant based for thirty plus years, and he is huge. He is like I want to say he's a little bit shorter than me because I'm not extremely tall, but I'm tall enough. And like I think I want to say he's like he's like five nine five somewhere around there. And like he's like he's yoked. For somebody that doesn't eat any meat at all. You know, so, like, it's really about are you going to dedicate to the principles of it? Are you going to dedicate? And that's another thing, too. When you cleanse out your stomach, you can actually gain weight the proper way and you can absorb the nutrients that you need. Because the reason why people, they've been eating meat for 20 plus years and, oh, I went vegan, I dropped all this weight, blah, 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 because your body is trying to get rid of the cellular waste that's been in there. You got people that haven't touched meat a day in their life and they're big. Why? Because, and they're like, oh. That's because their body can absorb the amino acids. Protein is a myth. Protein is a big, funky myth. You get in those amino acids and you get what you need and you start eating properly, you can blow up. You can give it. Like right now, I had I, I dropped back down because I want to rebulk again. So I'm almost back to like 150. My goal is to get to 180. Once I get to 180, that's it. Like I'm good. And it's like I'm still pretty jacked underneath here, but like the size I'm going to be, I might as well get ready. I'm going to. You, you said, said you're one. I said yeah, yeah. you say you're 
150, but you look you look a lot bigger than 150. Exactly, but that's what happens whenever you're mostly muscle and like when you're exactly. building up amino acids. Yo, like that's you got people... so cool. Exactly, and I'm and I'm six feet, so it's like it's proportion. It's not like I'm a small, like a short dude. Like I'm tall, but yeah. like it's because I'm I'm dense. What does three 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 mean? Three three three. Yeah. Uh, you saw the time? You're yeah, it, lying, I, my bro. <laughs> reminder to use your natural Three is ability. Three the number for communication. Bro. What was it? What was it? Uh, it is get? communication, but the other the other meaning for it is to remember to use your natural abilities. And what are we talking about right now? Bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. We, all, we divine, baby. We divine. Somebody put do what they say. Oh wait, no, don't fall. What are you doing? My tripod is about to fall. Um, do you have a book slash info recommendation for emotional correspondence in the body? You know what's crazy? I'm not done with it, bro. That's how I'm not a dude. Hold up, people be reading my mind. I feel like Kelsey's a CIA agent, by the way. But people be reading my mind. I actually look. I need to. I need to add that to the list. Oh my, I have too many things on my list already. Oh, uh, but <laughs> but like I'm a, yes. Yes, it's coming. But it, I can yes. I'm gonna just say yes. Somebody put our game weight. Oh, just put our game weight during COVID. It be like that. It be like that. You got people that man look. A lot of bodies went into shock, and a lot of bodies responded differently to this. Some people was in like prime example when COVID first hit. My weight was all up and down. Like until I really locked back. That's when I started my actual like um. I have like a shed, like kind of varnish shed thing back there. But like I turned it into like a gym. Because the gyms were, everything was closed. And I have, like, my bench in there. I have, like, my uh, my Smith machine, all of that. I was in there getting it. I was like, nah. I was like, nah, bro. I can't, no. I can't live like this. I was, I was <laughs> torn. I was so torn. What's your favorite food for building muscle on the plant-based, uh, on the plant-based uh, lifestyle? One of my favorite go-tos, I'm, I'm stuck between two things. Because I love, I love okra. Oh my God! Like okra Ooh. with some wild rice Ooh. and some all like in be- like especially beans. Oh my God! I can between is that see you say one thing, but I can't pick because I, I just like eating food. So it's like yeah. it's like because I laugh when you was like in another life you were a binge eater. I like I can believe that, but um <laughs> like beans and rice for sure. Beans and rice for sure. Um protein yeah. pancake ugh, protein pancakes is what they call pancakes. it. But I call them amino. Yeah, I like amino acid pancakes. We we talked about that yesterday too. How to yeah. make them? Uh, but oh, I'll say this: if I had to pick okra, for for me, for my body, okra and berries, like okra with some with some wild rice and like some blueberries and stuff like that, I can eat that. Yeah. All, like my plates used to be like huge, and I, I loved it. I loved it. I can eat uh, that all I day. And then my bowel movements, like it doesn't stay in you long. I swear, <laughs> but it has so many uh, nice uh, benefits. Okra. Definitely. I love it. And I like the texture. I know a lot of people are not a fan of it, but I I love it. That I love texture. saying yes, but you gotta but that's because you gotta cook it right. It's like you gotta cook the slime yeah. out, but like a lot of people mess up when they put vinegar in it. Just let it naturally steam the slime out and cook it right. And then you keep a little bit if you like if you that if you want that type of stuff. I keep like my I don't like mine too slimy, but like a little, you know, like a little slimy. But like I yeah. like that's what all the, the the benefits and the nutrients is that with some wild rice, you mix that up. Like, my mom had cooked some okra, and I told her, I was like, hey, cook me some on the side, you know, because she knows how I eat. Mm-hmm. I was like, cook some on the side. I don't want any, because they still eat meat heavy over there. I was like, I don't want all that pork yeah. stuff you putting in there, this, that, and the third. I was like, <laughs> put mine to the side, and I came, like, I looked so crazy pulling up to the house with some, like, a, a whole thing of cooked wild rice, and I dumped it in there, <laughs> and I was just sitting there just, like, tearing it up. <laughs> Yo, but you know, wild rice actually has that floral taste to it that I really mm-hmm. like. You mm-hmm. notice? Like, when I cook white rice versus when I cook wild rice, you have that flowery smell in the house when you cook a mm-hmm. wild rice. It's it just so takes good. a little longer I to cook, it. I've noticed. It takes a, a little longer. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, it, it does take longer. Personally, for me, my favorite foods, uh, my favorite alkaline and plant-based food uh, for muscle growth and for the gym and for, uh, you know, building some mass um, would be quinoa because it has all nine that amino too. acids. And you could, you could do so much with quinoa. You just cook it and then you can put like, um, you can put avocados in it. Avocados is another thing for me. It helps me gain weight and um, build muscle well. Uh, because it's like full of fats and stuff. 
um i like olive oil i like um coconut flesh that is gonna that is amazing woo, it's gonna pump you <laughs> um what else do i like um this 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 is my favorite salad that i always make um it's quinoa uh avocados tomatoes cucumbers um walnuts and i put some olive oil sauce is that the one you posted the other day yeah it's so good some that mushrooms looks good. it looks amazing it's delicious and it's it's super tasty and it's like over easily over a thousand two hundred calories and yes i do eat that much <laughs> um no but, yeah. but that's, that's one other thing people need to understand it's different caloric caloric surpluses maintenances and deficits are different plant-based exactly than it because like, exactly. like oh what too many carbs is bad for you and blah 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 fill up on fruits Fill up on your dog exactly. food. Get that stuff up. Get that all like crazy stuff out there. It carbs are really so hard. important, but not the processed carbs. Obviously, you want to have like your clean carbs. You don't want starch. You want you want quinoa. You want fibers. You want you want uh, your kamut bread. You want that type of carb. You know, you don't want white bread or white potatoes or uh, all that starchy food. Bro, even now, look, I'm not gonna sit here and cap. I'm not gonna sit here and cap like it ain't addictive because look, waffle fries is my weakness. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie. Waffle <laughs> fries are my weakness. Jesus I love Christ. that too. I love it too. Trust me. <laughs> I'm always, looking up. Oh no, you keep, keep going. Keep going. When I get potatoes, I always get the red skin potatoes and um, the the shiny, the waxy potatoes because they have the least amount of starch in it, so it's more alkaline. Mm-hmm. I'm looking up that Ezekiel bread. It's um, it's whole grain sprout bread. That's all I want to tell you. It's whole grain sprout okay. bread. Okay. Say it again. Whole grain sprout bread. That's all I want to tell you. It's whole grain sprout okay. bread. Okay. Say it again. I said okay. That's interesting. Because <laughs> I was because I don't know if I don't know if I'd ever said this on live. I know I told it to you, but I don't think I've told it to the live. But like my one of my old addictions was um. The swirl bread, the cinnamon swirl bread with the raisins in it. Oh my god! <laughs> like with the with the plant based butter. Oh my god! Like yeah. I and the sad part was I would get constipated. Well, not like severely constipated, but you know, like when it changes shape, you know what that means. And I was sitting there <laughs> like, I'm gonna still do it anyway. Like it was just it was bad. And I was like, now nah, I need to find an alternative. So I started doing Ezekiel bread. But then you had started telling me about spelt and stuff like that. So I'm about to look into that. And see if I can start making my own bread because it's like, sure, granted, that's yeah. not something I really want to eat all the time. But like, I know it's about to get hot and the summer's going to get here. I naturally crave stuff like that whenever like I have a lot of vitamin D. But that's because my body's trying to grow, you know. So it's like yeah. I'm just being, I'm trying to prepare, you know, I'm trying to prepare for it before it gets crazy. Yeah, and you know, I was actually thinking of something. Uh, they tell us, uh, like when we're young or when we have stomach problems, they always tell us to have uh, to have um, bread. I, I don't know if it was a thing for you too. Not really. But you it know what's it was salsa down here. What ginger ale down here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Uh but yeah, they would always tell us to eat bread so your stomach feels better. And it's funny because it's it's false and it's true at the same time. So basically when you think stomach, what rules the stomach? The sign that rules the stomach is Virgos. And a lot of Virgos have uh uh, a lot of um, stomach issues, digestive issues, intestinal mm-hmm. issues. It's it's known for Virgos to have that. Um, and when they tell you you, you got to eat bread, it's like, yes, you got to eat grains, but not wheat. If you're right. Virgo with a stomach difference. issues, you need grains, you need fiber, you need kamut, you need spelt. That's the type of right. that's the type of bread you need. You know what I mean? Right. But if you're I messed go up and did psyllium whenever I was having stomach problems, and it was so yeah. Bad. It was so yeah. bad. Oh my god! So that's the thing. It's like it's they tell you they tell you half truth. You know, it's like yes, it's true, but not the right type of bread. You know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like my daughter said, "What about somebody said? What about Aquarius?" Aquarius. Um, let me think. I have my little my little book here. Aquarius. So Aquarius is the ankles, the shins, the uh, venous system with the veins, the oxygenation of blood and general blood qualities, the electrical system and the rods and cones of the eyes and the spinal nerves. So Aquarius, they bruise up really easily. Um, they, they lack oxygen in the blood. 
Um, they get bruises on their ankles pretty often, uh, the ankles and the, the, the shins, um, and they need um, lymphatic drainage. Yeah, and also um, the spinal nerves, I feel like in the lower back, the spinal nerves in the lower back um, and in the, cere in the cerebellum, yeah. So you need lymphatic drainage in, in these areas. I'm going to put on the They have this seven replies. Somebody put, another person put, I thought cancer ruled the stomach. Cancer and Virgo. Cancer rules the lymphatic system and the stomach with Virgo. And Virgo rules the stomach and the spleen and the intestinal system. And the, the intestinal, the intestines. Uh, the, uh, fair one, the question is about to come in. Somebody say, what about the Libras? <laughs> Libras, they rule the kidneys and the adrenals. Libras is about balance. Uh, Libras balance the uh, the acidity in the in the body, so they turn everything alkaline. They rule the ovaries as well. Uh, the sense of balance. Um, what else? Uh, Libra, Libra, kidneys. Uh, the fatigue, so adrenal fatigue. So a lot of a lot of Aries and Libras get fatigued. Uh, pretty easily because the adrenaline. So Aries also rules the adrenals with Libra. The reason why um, I drink a lot of juice is because my energy else? levels are up. They stay up. I have no in-between. I said the reason why I drink a lot of juice because yeah. like my energy levels is like I don't have an in-between. Either I'm 100 or I'm zero. Yeah, same here. Same here. That's the Aries thing. Aries is like the sign of the, the, the kid of the Zodiac. So it's always full of energies. And even uh, energy, and even like at 3 a.m., we have a burst of energy out of nowhere sometimes. Me, yes, uh, We have a lot of adrenaline. <laughs> we have a lot of like the happy hormones, if, if I may. Um, so, yeah, Aries are always so energetic. And at some point, they have like, uh, they use up their energy for like seven days in a row, always energetic. And then the, they have that crash. They're like, oh, my social battery is dead. I need to recharge. Yes, <laughs> and you're, then they're back You're ready. really loud. You're really loud right now. <laughs> Because yeah, I, li uh, I literally just went through that. Oh, yeah, for all y'all that don't know, her and I are both Aries and we're both left handed and we're both tall. So, like, it's just we both got the eyebrow, the Aries eyebrows, like everything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we both have scars in the face. Bro, the crazy part is where is it at? Is it this one? Is this one? I don't know if you can see it. Hold up. Can I show it? My sister, I got this one. Uh, my, Me and my sister were, what we were doing? I was young. All I remember, she had like the cable, you know, like the old school cable remotes and like the huge ones. I'm talking about, <laughs> boom, like got like got me with it. And then I got these two from um my mom. They used to always fuss at me. I love like being outside and just wilding out. I just got a bike. Didn't I barely know how to ride a bike? I learned how to do it like a catwalk. I'm like yeah yeah, I'm flying all over the place. I I there's like this little stump thing like in my grandmother. My grandmother has like a like two and a half acres of yard. And, like, it's like a little stone thing you got to get over to get into her yard. I went down the street. I came down full speed. I'm like, I'm going to jump it. I'm going to jump it. And, like, I <laughs> jumped up. I got halfway up, not realizing that my feet came from underneath me. And the bike itself went, Doop! and, like, I'm in the air, like, just, ah. And I came down and just, like, pummeled myself. I have so many oh injuries as a kid. I used to, I like climbing trees, all that type of stuff. I still do stupid stuff. Ooh. Oh, her sound. Yeah, uh -oh, what happened? Too. Oh, there you go. Me too. That's why Aries are known to have scars on their face because they always head first in everything. This is true. <laughs> One of my worst injuries, I was skateboarding down a... Um, it's hard to describe it because you have to be down here to know exactly what I'm talking about. But it's like on our college campus. Is it laggy? A, a little bit. I think so. It might... How about now? Is it good? Uh, it's better, yeah. Oh, yeah, the lag is getting... It, I think it'll adjust. It was doing that earlier. It should adjust. But, um, there's, like, this huge, yeah, like, like, at least two stories. It's, like, it's a big... And it's not just a hill. It's, like, a curved hill. And, like, me and my two good friends, like, we was, uh... I've been skateboarding for a while. Like, I've been doing dumb stuff on the skateboard for the longest. Um, he needs to know his TikTok. He's trying to find the live in this on, uh, you know, on Instagram. TikTok, bro. And, um... We was going full speed and why did we go all at the same time i don't know but like at the bottom of the curve of the hill there's like a parking lot so there's cars all right there mm -hmm. so like he goes and he catches yeah. speed wobbles i'm like oh god it's about to end bad he flips off his i roll 
and we're all just like we're rolling. His head hits the back of a car, a parked car. My oh. foot, as I'm rolling, goes into his stomach. Pow! So we both on the ground, <laughs> broke up. We are broke up. The uh the other because they're twins. The other twin, he barely yeah. makes it out, but he has to jump off and run because he's about to crash straight into it. So we all like on the ground, like, <laughs> like oh, what just happened? We're like, y'all want to do it again? Like just dumb, just dumb and stupid, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that's an Aries thing. That's an Aries thing. We're we're very we have like uh this this childlike energy forever. So you'll meet an Aries at sixty, at fifty, and they're always gonna be like, oh. Well, yeah, let's do it. Okay, okay. <laughs> and I feel like That's... as I get older, it gets worse. Cause like, yeah, I don't I know was what a it is. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm in the I gym feel... and I'm just sitting there, like, yeah, more, more. Like I, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Yeah, I feel you. Oh my god, I, I'm so happy. I, I have someone I can relate to. <laughs> oh, dude, Tony's in here. No, like for real. I've been, I've been waiting on it. We got so much we gotta talk about. Somebody asked about uh, mm-hmm. Cancers and Sagittarius. Cancer and Sagittarius. All right, I got you. So, so la, la, la. Cancer. Cancer is um, the pancreas, uh, temperature re- regulation, the thalamus, the hypothalamus, the posterior pituitary, um, the prolactins, of course, because cancer rules the breast. Uh, in the stomach and the lymphatic system. Uh, Cancer is the most mucus-producing sign of the zodiac because it's a water sign. So if you're a water sign, chances are you have higher mucus production than other signs, Uh, specifically Scorpios. Scorpios have a lot of mucus in the reproductive area. That's why a lot of Scorpios deal with PCOS, reproductive issues, etc. Cancer have mucus in, um, in like the... Like the breast, the lungs, the 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 stomach area, um, uh, they need a lot of lymphatic drainage more than other signs. Um, moisture level of the internal tissue uh, has influence on the female fertility, lactation, the uterus, the pregnancy, etc. Uh, the gums and bones. So, um, uh, a lot of cancer would be lacking. Uh, what is it? The mineral. Cancer is calcium fluoride. So you know when they say in toothpaste, uh, a fluoride, a fluoride is bad. Fluoride is bad. Yes, sodium fluoride is bad. Calcium fluoride is necessary and vital for, uh, for you, for the human, for everybody. So a lot of cancers are lacking uh, calcium fluoride and have a lot of teeth decay, and their gums yes. are, uh, their gums go higher. They, they they like lose gum. They they have like big teeth, you know. It's like if you see my gums, Bro, imagine if my sense. gums are right here. That makes so much you know? sense. And Pisces, on the other hand, have uh, a lot of gum. They have really gummy smiles. Like I have a, a Pisces rising, and when I smile, I have a lot of gum. You know what I mean? So Pisces mm-hmm. have like gummy smiles. Um, <laughs> gummy <cancer>. smiles. <laughs> gummy smiles. Pretty gummy smiles. Um. Uh. What else? The lymphatic and the nodes. Um. Very motherly. Uh. Too motherly, I would say. They're very protective over their friends and family members at a point where it they, it hurts their breast. You know, when your mother, Dang. your your breast hurting when you want to feed your child. That's how motherly the cancer sign that's is, especially when you have to hell. move. That's children. dope. That is dope. Yeah. And you said a uh, Sagittarius. Yeah, Sagittarius, so Sagittarius and Taurus. Rules. Well, my bad. Sagittarius, Taurus, Taurus, Virgo. I'm looking at the list. So Sagittarius, Taurus, and Virgo. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go Sagittarius now. So Sagittarius rules the hips, the lower back, and the glutes. A lot of Sagittarius have that that posture that's like the ass out. A lot of uh, Sagittarius have that posture. Um, <laughs> even, <dead>. sometimes, <laughs> even sometimes scoliosis with Scorpio. Um, so Sagittarius is the, our arterial circulation, um, the great saphenous vein, the lower spinal nerves, the coordination of the central nervous system and motor nerves, the voluntary muscular system. Also Sagittarius rules the muscles. A lot of Sagittarius, they they get big fast and, and you are Sagittarius rising. So you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, 
what else? Y'all saw the they picture. ruled the muscle. Y'all saw the picture. <laughs> <laughs> they ruled the muscle and the breath expiration. Gemini is the breath inspiration. Sagittarius the breath expiration because they're polar opposite on the the astrology. Gemini and and Sagittarius are opposite, just like Aries and e- uh, Libra is opposite. Um, Sagittarius will most likely lack the mineral of silica, which is the mineral, um, uh, that, that the light, the depletion of the mineral is cystic acne, brittle nails, hair loss. Um, what else? What else do we have for Sagittarius? Very philosophical, very spiritual minded. Uh, they're always in the higher mind because it's the ninth sign of the zodiac. Um, it's the the god sign is ruled by Jupiter, Jesus Peter. That's that's like the god planet. If 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 you want, um, what else? Sagittarius. Um, I think. Oh yeah, Sagittarius is the centaur of the zodiac. So half animal, half man. So they have very animalistic natures, especially in the hips. They're very um, uh, you know, you know, you know, yeah, where I'm going. Yeah. Where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much it about Sagittarius. Uh, hip problems, uh, stiff hips. Um, uh, I would say like uh, difficulty stretching the hips sometimes. Um, what else? A lot of root, a lot of root issues. I'd say uh, f- the yeah. feeling of not being safe and protected. They're yeah. they're fighters. They keep a lot of emotions stagnated inside. So now I have Taurus. You said. Yeah, Taurus is next, and then Virgo, and we're gonna call it a, a wrap because I'm limited on time. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, so Taurus rules the endocrine system and the thyroid. Taurus is the throat and the cerebellum, so the lower part of the brain. Uh, it rules the ears and the jaws and this part as well. Uh, the pituitary, uh, the endocrine system. Uh, it includes the tonsils, so a lot of the times Taurus or Taurus placements are going to wake up feeling like they have a sore throat. Um, uh, what else? The vocal cords, a lot of Taurus are good singers uh, shared with... Yes, the guy that's in here, that's a Taurus, he's like, he's a, actually, he's a uh, music engineer, producer. He's amazing. He is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the hypothalamus, the endocrine, the pituitary, the lower brain, hormonal, so the thyroid, uh, the medulla, the hearing, the medulla is also where you have memories of your past life. So it's good to stimulate it sometimes with meditation and fasting. Um, I think that's pretty much it for Taurus. They, they have big hearts, great lovers, very grounded people, very logical, uh, very childlike, not childish, childlike. Um, and emotionally stable, I would say, depending on your moon sign too. And Virgos, uh, where's my Virgo? All right. So Virgos is the upper intestinal organs, the liver, um, the the stomach, the spleen, the pancreas, um, and the ascending of the colon. So with Scorpio, and it's also the immune system because the Virgo is the gut, and the the immune system resides like I would say eighty percent in in your gut and what you eat. Virgos have um, are prone to to bloating. Uh, they have little stomachs, not not fat, just little bloated stomachs. Sometimes very cute. Um, they also have um, their immutable sign, so their face is not always balanced. They have a nose that goes to the side and the chin to, that goes on the other side. They have like That's that typical crazy. like witchy features. Um, but very beautiful though. Very it suits them very well. Um, and that's pretty much it for Virgo. <laughs> Bro, I'm a. There's so many questions I gotta ask you after we go on this live. This, this is a whole nother conversation. Like <laughs> stuff I can't say on here yet, but but we got we got to wrap this up, y'all. So for everybody that's up in here, if y'all haven't, go follow her right now. Click on whatever y'all gotta click. Go follow her. Take a screenshot of her name. Go follow her right now. Book book book. Get her consultations. <laughs> get her services because just like y'all can sit here and watch this live stream and stuff like that, y'all can be talking to her directly. And y'all can get exactly what y'all need from her. She is amazing. She is well studied. And she's still growing, y'all. Like, it's so <laughs> crazy how much information she has within her now. And she's still growing. So, y'all, please Thank take the you. time to invest. But remember, we're going into the spring equinox. This may be your chance to sow that seed within yourself. 
you know, like, but what if your your health is that next level, you know, for your spring equinox blessing? And same thing on my end. You already know me, Coach Brian. I specialize in detoxes and any other ailments that you have. You know, y'all can go to my site, go to my, you can go to coachbrian.com, or you can go to the link in my bio, check out the herbs, check out the detoxes, check out the teas, check out everything. We got merch now and stuff like that. Coach Brian in the building, you feel me? But at the same time, we say all this to say, y'all, like, it's all divine time. Everybody that came in, whether you spent the whole two hours with us or 30 minutes or 10 minutes, you were supposed to be in here. The spring equinox starts this year on March 20th. So do everything that we told y'all to do. Start meditating. Start praying. Start detoxing. Start sowing seeds. Start doing whatever you feel spiritually led to do because when the 20th hits, the doors open. And one more, more thing, like I said before, favor is not fair. So you can be that person that starts a day before, that starts a week before. And guess what? You can still open up like like it's it's so many things that can happen for you. So we don't want you guys leaving this stream with a sense of hopelessness or with a sense of, well, I don't know what to do, this, that, and the third. Contact us. Book consultations. Book services. Get the detoxes. Get whatever you need. We are here for you guys. While we, We're not dead yet because we still have jobs to do. We, everybody and everybody watching and everybody participating has a purpose in life. If you're not going, your purpose ain't over with. You know, we, her and I are responsible for y'all health and y'all lives. We have to answer to that whenever we pass. Whenever we go to the next realm, it's like, okay, these people came to you. What did you do? Now, we're not responsible for what y'all do, but we're responsible for our part as far as the initiation. Like I said before, let us be your first step. We're not saying mm -hmm. be perfect. We're not looking for perfection. We're looking for yeah. progression. You know, so yeah. make sure that y'all taking the time to please reach out to us, y'all. Please show us love. Please spread, share, like, all that type of stuff. And for the love of God, take a risk on yourself. Bet on yourself. Be prepared for the yeah. equinox because it, it's coming. It's co like, and it's nothing to fear. It can say, it can sound very overwhelming and, and very just like too much. It's nothing to fear. It is. It was literally created spiritually and physically and designed for every single human on this planet. And even animals and plants. It's for everybody. So new starts, the beginning. Yeah, reap the benefits, man. It's time. It's time. We've been, man, we've been suffering for, we've been in the pandemic for how long? Like, come on, the moon in the refrigerator, the booster faders in the retrograde. Like, come on, man. We got, let's get, get in the equinox. Get in the, and get ready. Get ready, y'all. I'm telling y'all. It'd be like that. Anything else you guys say before we close it down? <laughs> this lag is killing me. Oh, hold up. What lag? You can hear me? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I was just, I was silent. <laughs> oh, my bad. Okay, I thought it was, I thought it was lagging. I'll say anything else you got to say before we call it a wrap? Oh, oh, no, I'm good. You you pretty much said it all. I just want to say so much love to everybody who joined us. And I hope you got all the information you were looking for and all the signs you were looking for. And hopefully it's going to be uh, helpful for you in your journey. Definitely so. And for the people that are saying they missed a lot that just coming in, it's going to be uploaded by Monday. Don't worry. You can go to Coach Brian on YouTube or go to the link in my bio, subscribe to the YouTube. And it's like Chelsea just said, it will be uploaded to YouTube on Monday. Y'all didn't miss nothing. But, but for all the people that, <laughs> like, even the person that just got in here and, and said that, you're supposed to. So I'm saying, like, y'all are supposed to be a part of this. Y'all are supposed to be a part of the movement. But I can keep rambling, rambling. I have to get on the road soon. I love every single one of you guys. Y'all be blessed. Y'all have a great one. And we'll catch y'all later.